Hey guys, and welcome to the stream. Let me know when you can see me. Um, let me try to get all this set up. I do have a couple of things from the subreddit I wanna show to some little fun, fun memes. I just realized I have my uh, pillow still on the back. <laughs> Limo, rip. Okay, well, welcome guys. Oh yeah, and thank you to Yuki Simp. Oh my God, you already sent like, how many? I think people in the chat were saying like 17 memberships. It's like, holy crap. Thank you guys. Like, thank you so much. Also, save your money, Yuki Sim. <laughs> like, do you have any, do you have any more money? <laughs> oh man. Thanks guys. Let me um pin this by Brie too. God, the chat's going so fast. Um doo -doo -doo. and thank you to Zane for becoming a member. Appreciate ya. Welcome to the Kenjo Cult. And thank you, Fallen Redditor. Good is bad, bad is good. Characters are sus and angst reigns supreme. Welcome, Weeby, to Despair Time Chapter 2. God, I'm so worried. I feel like, I don't know, dude. I keep seeing, like, these, oh, uh, slow mode, maybe? I could see that being a, I could see that being the case. But, uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me see. Can't tell if it's spam or a lot of people. Let me put on just like a small slow mode for the time being since uh, the chat is going like super, super fast. Okay, I'll just do like 15 seconds or something maybe for now. We might be able to put it back to normal after uh, <laughs> after a little bit. But uh, crap, there's so much stuff. Uh, thank you, Misty. Oh, oops, forgot I had this. Oops, hi, I'm Jay's wife. Oh God, that reminds me. I'm worried for Jay right now because like she was included in like the title card. I know that, that's like the only thing I really know about this chapter is she was like included in the title card and I feel like that's always like, I don't know. I feel like it's always just like a bad sign. Like whenever I see a character in a title card or if it like kind of alludes to their talent or whatever else, like I always feel so like, I don't know, I'm just like, well, they're dead. <laughs> cool, good, good thinking. Okay, anyways, I wanted to co show off a couple of things from the subreddit, uh, some fan art of RA. And yeah, thank you to Curry White for that. And also Brie made this lovely yeah, art of me. Oh God, it's so beautiful. Oh my God, it's so zoomed in. Now I feel like she's staring into my soul. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeebie, ya yaku -ibi? yaku -ibi? Eh, something like that. <laughs> something like that. And, and that's a good enough nickname. I'll just go with that for now. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by the stream. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And let me, <laughs> wait, I think there was some more stuff I might have um, missed. Oh, thank you, Shumi. I'm so excited to help. Oh, thanks so much for uh, coming here. And thank you. That's your first uh, super chat ever. So appreciate you so much. And then, thank you to Untouched, gr untouched Grass. <laughs> I feel called out by your username. Um, don't know what to put here. Uh, bleep, I guess. It's like, I shouldn't I shouldn't say that word. I'm very scared for this chapter because I swear I've already been getting people who are like, Weeby's going to be so traumatized. <laughs> after I was like, after just this stream? I was like, Jesus, what happens? <laughs> but thank you for the dono. Appreciate you. And uh, thank you, Lizard King. Uh, 13. Oh my god, I'm here. In time for once. I've been so excited to see you watch this chapter. Me too. Me too. God, I've been so excited too. I keep getting like recommended videos of it and stuff and I'm like, <laughs> like avoid the urge to watch it. I kept having dreams where I like watched it without you guys and then I felt like really bad. <laughs> I like would go on Twitter and I was like, sorry guys. I couldn't wait. I was just watching Despair Time at 3 a.m. by myself. Thank you, Dangan. Oh, I have one too. I don't know what to put here. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being a part of the Kenjo cult. I appreciate you. Okay, and oh my gosh. Thank you, Captain Draken. Did you know one of the official Tumblr character pages, there are secret texts hidden in the source code. Most of them probably aren't safe to share those. Yanders and Mins are 99.99 .99 safe. Secret text hidden in the source code. Oh, interesting. It's on their Tumblr page? Oh, okay, cool. That's interesting. God, I haven't used Tumblr in so long. But yeah, maybe I'll have to check that out. I guess we can always check that out after the um, stream too and kind of figure out what's uh, going on. Thank you, Maka Cosplay. Hi, Weeby. First stream I've made it to. And I just want to say thanks for getting me back into Danganronpa with Super Danganronpa, another two. And Yuruko, mostly. <laughs> mostly Yuruko. And Tiara, do you mean Tyra? I feel like you mean Tyra. Based either way. <laughs> Based either way. And thank you so much. That's your first super chat. Appreciate you. That's cool that YouTube tells me that now. And thank you, Shumi. Forgot, but friendly reminder to not to slay it, or your fave character will get slayed or will slay. God, I know. 
I know all too well. Thank you, Yuki Simp. Hey, Weeby, my wallet is already dead. Yes, Yuki, <laughs> Yuki Simp, you might I feel so bad. I like to not expect, because I remember like last time after the stream, you were in the Discord and you were like, LOL broke. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, I don't think they're gonna like do any gift wars today. And then I log in and you've already gifted like 17. I was like, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, Yuki Sip. <laughs> Hold on to your wallet. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you, Kylo Graham. Time to cancel a dream. Weeby for watching without us. <laughs> I would never. But God, I had so many dreams like that. That was... I don't know, it's like a reoccurring nightmare I kept having. <laughs> and thank you, Drago Nugget. Oh my god, this chapter has been great so far. No spoilers. Thank you so, so much and appreciate you uh, stopping by. And I was going to say, yeah, I think like this. And I was having that same dream with like blow black. Blow, blow black. Blow black. <laughs> blow back. Let me see. Maybe I need to turn this up. God, I'm so freaking excited. Right hand, 16 or older. I think there was like, a, somebody did say too, there was like a warning at some point. Um... Uh, I think like a content warning. I'm sure my mods will tell me too when that comes up, but I think it might be like, maybe like towards the VDA or something. Oh, thank you, Brie. Pray for Luna, aka Sim Yuki Sims wallet, LMA. <laughs> I know, right? I'm going to draw like a dead wallet for the Reddit. <laughs> Here lies Luna's wallet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and thank you, Jeff Everywhere. It's officially been two years. I've spent too much time here, but speaking seriously, I've enjoyed being a moderator for you. The Discord community has always been fun and I appreciate being able to help. Oh, thank you so much, Jeff. It's been so good having you as a moderator. I remember when I first like met you through the Your Turn to Die, ah, the Your Turn to Die streams. You were always like so much fun to have in chat with your little jokes and like your little memes you'd post as like the donos. And I remember like I was so excited when you joined too. I was like, hey, I know him. You're from the Weeby streams. <laughs> it's like, I see you all the time, but it's just, it's been a blast having you as a mod, Jeff. I appreciate you, even when you're spamming Yakuza in my Discord server. That's when I appreciate you the most, I might, some might say. <laughs> oh my god, y'all are going crazy with the donos right now. Thank you, Fim, Fimzy, Shinji, Shinji cult leader. Honestly, based. Oh, I love Shinji so much. And welcome to the Kenjo cult. Thank you, Fallen Redditor. Weeby will tell someone to slay, and it'll be, okay, nope. <laughs> I'm not. I would never. I would never. I would never do that. That's not me. I've never done that in my life ever. <laughs> Thank you, Elena. I hate this. Says one month. It's been two years. Oh, is it because you like left and came back? That's kind of lame if YouTube does it like that. I feel like it should kind of like carry over. You know what I mean? Also, let me know if the volume's good. I think it should hopefully be good, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be good enough. Not too loud. Not too quiet. God, I'm so freaking excited. I still miss you. Is this Taruko? I miss you so much that I wish you had never been a part of my life. I miss you so much that I wish you were dead. The worst part is, even though you left me like this, there's nothing I can blame you for. Oh yeah, this is the screenshot I saw. I was like, so Jay's dead. I like how she has, she has like a play button in her eye. Rise and shine, everyone! Oh. It is now 8 a.m. Get ready for a bright and chipper day! It's voice acted, nice! I don't know if the whole chapter is gonna be voice acted, though. Hello, everyone! Good! Oh my god, is the whole thing gonna be voice acted? This is awesome! Holy crap, let me turn up the volume. Uh. Good <laughs> morning. <laughs> Nobody else there! <laughs> yeah, I know, it's kind of like a bad time after the. <laughs> After the last trial, we all kind of blamed Taruko. She kind of hates our ass. Xander went on a killing spree. Min died viciously. Got torn apart by wolves. But come on, guys. We can, we can push through this. I guess I'm the first one here. <laughs> so sad. It's only fair, I suppose. After everything that happened yesterday. What do you mean? It was a good day. Yes, everyone else is still sleeping in and recovering from that. Xander. Min. We only knew them for a few days, but they really are dead, aren't they? And we're still trapped here. Yeah. So rough. I won't give up. Okay, okay. Now it's uh now it's going back to uh I guess it's just gonna be like partially voice acted. Okay, I just saw that in the uh, 
<laughs> in the chat too. Thank you, Bree. We're gonna pretend this says nine months with the membership, but this has been an amazing few months to support you and your awesome community. Modding for you guys is so much fun. Thank you, Weeby. Oh, you're so sweet, Bree. I appreciate you so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry that I've been like depressed recently <laughs> too. I'm feeling a lot better, but uh, I really appreciate you guys like holding down the fort too when I like haven't been super active on like the Discord and just like in general. You guys are the, like the best mods ever. I appreciate you. Thank you, Byron Arts. Hi, Weeby. Just joined your server yesterday. Ah, oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Welcome to the server. I hope you uh been enjoying your time on there so far. And oh my god, Yuki Simp! If you ever need a mod, I will gladly accept. But in all seriously, in all seriousness, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. Love you, chat. Oh, you're so sweet, Yuki Sip slash Luna. <laughs> save your money. <laughs> like save your money. <laughs> if you donate one more time, Luna. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna call your mom or something. I don't know. <laughs> like save your money. Oh, uh, you're so sweet though. I appreciate you. Pull yourself together. I won't give up. I might be in a terrible situation, but the absolute worst of situ- <laughs> The absolute worst of situations. It could not possibly be any, any worse right now. But, you know, we can, we can pull through. But that's the more reason to stay positive. Yeah, that's right. It's not like me to be down for so long. Even if life gives you lemon, you- <laughs> I, I think that's not the saying, bestie, but good try. All you gotta do is bounce back. Take a butter knife and carve the lemons into lemon puppies and lemon kittens? Sure, I, I like the creativity. <laughs> it's way better than lemonade. I'll do my best. If everyone else is feeling down in the dumps, then it's my job to get their spirits back. That's how we'll get out of here, by working together. <laughs> if nobody else will give the friendship speech, then I'll be the one to do it, damn it. And it starts with a healthy breakfast. I'll cook for everyone today. To the kitchen! Aw, uh, Eden's so cute. And she was like, just such a little, I don't know, positive ball of energy, like before, like last chapter too. She was so sweet. I think she was like the only one too, or one of the only ones to like really have like Taruko's back. So I was kind of wondering if they would still be friends or like close, you know what I mean? Yuki said, Luna, bad, bad Luna. <laughs> Thank you for the membership, but also bad Luna. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate you. <laughs> but also save your money. I forgot how difficult it is to cook for so many people on your own. Oh, that's so sad. Last time she had the group. Ah, the vegetable oil. Hey. It's not where I put it. Who put it all up, all the way up in the pantry? It, this is short phobic. Uh, oh, it's too high up for oh. me. I feel you, girl. Only I was a little taller. Uh, stretch, <laughs> stretch, Eden. You can reach it. I feel you, girl. Huh? The short struggles. Oh, Levi. Nice. What's the matter? Is this what you're looking for? Oh. Ah, oh, Levi, thank you so much. If you're here, then that means everyone else is also. Oh, the little, the little, like, uh, sparkly eyes. That's cute. Still asleep. Oh, uh, still asleep. It seems that you and I are the only ones awake, Eden. Oh, I see. Everybody it's else getting okay. sleep off the trauma. I'm sure everyone will wake up eventually. At the very least, they'll need to come out to eat, right? That's why I'm gonna make breakfast. She is so positive. Making a meal for everyone at a time like this. How thoughtful of you. That never would have occurred to me. Sometimes I really envy how easy it is for you to be kind. Eh? Um, what does that mm. mean? Do you know? I'm gonna change the subject. I remember Levi was a little weird during the trial too, like... I remember he kind of like popped off. I can't remember what exactly it was about though that he popped off about. <laughs> Shoo me, you're like, I feel you eating, I'm 5'5". Five five. I'm like, that's literally tall in my perspective. <laughs> at, at five feet exactly. Thank you, Twink. My cat's name is Luna and she's watching this too. Oh, that's so cute. Tell Luna I said hi. Aw, adorable. And thank you, Kai the Reaper, Art by Dangan. Hey, Weeby, hope you're doing okay, queen. It's Slay. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing great. Now also I may go on a murder rampage because you told me to slay. This is so sad. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've been doing a lot better, honestly. I feel a lot better after last week, like taking some time to like chill with my family and like rest up. So I feel like rejuvenated and ready to stream. Toka Fukawa's number one fan. Welcome to the Kenjo Cult. Woo! Okay. Do you need assistance with cooking? I'll help if you want. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Thank you so much, Levi. You're so nice. Are you all right? Um, you don't have to answer if you don't want, but are you okay? Uh? Excuse me, what do you mean? You were kind of scary during the trial. So much happened last night. It's almost too much to process at once. Even though we only knew men and Xander for such a short time, 
It's still shocking that they both tried to... to kill. But that, back then, if you asked me if I thought that they... that anybody here could do such a thing, I'd say it's impossible. How cruel. Why did this happen? Why are we being forced to do this? How do we get in this crazy situation? Ever since that trial, I can feel it. An increased feeling of tension in the air. As long as we're stuck here, things are never going to be as upbeat as they were before Xander died. Yeah, I just, like, I can't imagine the tension in a game like this. You know what I mean? I think you shoot me. The chat's making me feel like Teruya <laughs> SDRA2 slash J. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on in the chat? It's been kind of hard to read them and get so many dodos and stuff. Oh my god, Teruya? Teruya 6-3? Is that what you mean? Jesus. Oh my god, Teruya. Man, he was a short king too in the first game. He was like me, for real. And then he betrayed, betrayed the short people. Uh, I see. But maybe I'm worrying about nothing since you seem to be the same as you ever, as you ever are. I guess some people are super brave, like you, and are doing just fine. What do you mean? Is that wrong? You were expecting me to be more emotional. I suppose I can say the same to you, can't I? Today you're as cheerful as you've ever been. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I'm wearing my brave face. See? Everyone is probably going to be a little sad for a while. So for their sake and for mine, I'm going to put on a happy smile. I can't tell if this is like toxic positivity or not, though. You know what I mean? Like... I feel like it, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of how Danganronpa is, though. I feel like there's always, like, the Kaides, the Nagis, who are just like, let's pretend that didn't even happen. <laughs> let's move on. Let's pretend nothing bad happened. Like, I think it's it's good to maybe talk it through, you know what I mean? Especially Taruko, like, she was pissed. Oh, thank you. And our China 20 Rose. Hey, we can't stay for long at work. Just wondering, are you going to stream on Sunday? Do you think you're going to stream the rest of the demo game from yesterday? Yes, I will eventually stream that. I might just wait until Process of Elimination releases, though, because I think it releases on, like, the 11th. So I was thinking after I do um, blowback, I would just pick up Process Elimination and start streaming that. So I have, like, a little bit of a break, but I had no idea the demo for that game was, like, three hours long. I would have just streamed it if I would have known. I thought most demos were, like, 30 minutes to an hour, so that was why I did that. And thank you, Anlad463, for becoming a part of the Kenjo cult. Even still, it's been pretty hard. I don't want to hide that. Part of the reason I'm cooking now is to distract myself from all the terrible stuff that happened. Working on something has always calmed my nerves. I see, then. I do feel like being creative can be very therapeutic. How do you feel, well, Levi? Are you okay? To be honest, I've never been good at grieving. I wanted to wait and see how everybody else would act. However, everyone else will cope with this situation. I shall do the eh? same. Eh, eh, it's just gonna copy everybody else. It's okay if you grieve the way you do normally, Levi. It's kind of weird. Is that so? Then I won't do anything. I need like a robot. Uh, I will see how the other humans grieve. And then I will act accordingly. Uh, thank you so much, Sleepy Boy, for being a Kenjo cult member for seven months. Yeet. So true, Vesti. So true. Oh, the porch is pulling over. I was like, distracted. Ah, uh, thanks for noticing that, Levi. You know, you're really good at cooking. Where did you learn how to cook? Nothing more than experience. I cook all the meals at home. That's all. Ah, uh, do you cook for your family or something? That's so responsible of you. Not quite. No, I've been disowned. I cook only for myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, what? Oh my gosh! Uh, sorry for the, the quick trauma dump. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the disownment. There's no need to be sorry. It's a good thing. What was Levi's talent again? Was he like a makeup artist or something? That's terrible. But if your family cut you off, then that must have been really hard on you. I can't imagine how upset I would be if my parents somehow disowned me. No, not at all. It's for the best that neither I nor my family see each other again. Jesus, what happened there? Um, if you don't mind me asking, Why? could you explain what? <laughs> I feel like Levi's such a time bomb. Personal stylist, that's what it is. And it was something kind of like that. Something that had to do with, like, slaying in the good way. <laughs> Why? Although he does both. My father. My father. My, my mother. Oh. My brothers. That's how you know it's we serious. We all bad influences on each other. That's all that needs to be said. This is giving, like... <laughs> I was just watching this show where this guy, like, was talking about how he, like, murdered his family, but he was, like, being, like... <laughs> I don't know, kind of, like, vague about it. Like, they just they just needed to learn their lesson. That's, that's what it's giving right now. We'll see. <laughs> also that, like, 
<laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just paranoid, though. Maybe I, maybe I'm just paranoid. That's probably true. And thank you, NRR Channel 20 Rose. Gotta go now. Enjoy the stream. See you in the VOD. Thank you so much for stopping by. And thank you, Lucky Cat 27. 03 Luna. Lots of Lunas in chat. A little late, but happy birthday. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate you. It was actually was my birthday recently. Thank you, Luna slash Yuki Sim. Gotta go. Bye, everyone. If you need me, I'll be in the Discord. Thank you so much for stopping by, Yuki Sim. Appreciate you. And save your money. Make sure you have money <laughs> to pay your bills and stuff. But I appreciate you. You're so sweet. And thank you for the gifted membership, too. You guys are so nice. There's no point in bringing up the past once it's out of my life. All that matters is what I do now. There's no need to worry about them anymore. I want to keep doing my best to help my classmates. Perhaps I messed up yesterday, but I want to move on. I want to keep trying to become a good person like you, Eden. Don't worry. I think you are a good person, Levi. You're always super reliable after all. Don't worry so much about it. Thank you. I don't know. I'm not so sure. <laughs> Thank oh. you. Oh, I hear footsteps outside. Everyone else has finally woken up. I like him as a character, but as a person... That's so sure. Oh my god, freaking freaking Kev. Weenie news. Are you just gonna permanently stay like that, Kev? <laughs> I just I love the the brand change. The brain change. It speaks to me for some reason. The weenies and the melons. I'm surprised it it's I would put like a melon news kind of thing. Uh change over. Oh my god, the people in chat. Oh my god, Weenie, such a big fan. I love your Danganronpa and other playthroughs. Thank you so much, Kev, for stopping by. I love your April Fool's meme, too. That was so funny. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're feeling well. Levi and I made How breakfast kind. for everyone. Oh, you did. That's quite kind Whatever. of you, Eden. Thanks, I guess. After everything that happened yesterday, the last thing I feel like doing is cooking. Well. I'm hungry, but after I eat, I'll probably go back to my room instead of hanging out. Zoe. It's poison. Oh my god, I love Ace. Oh man, I miss doing I miss doing your voice. It's poison, right? It's gotta be poison and we're all gonna die just oh my <laughs> freaking ace, dude. We're all gonna die just like Min and Xander right here, right now. Oi! Don't say that. Yeah. Uh, Ace is right. Whatever you cooked up could be poisoned or what <laughs> How dare y'all accuse Eden? She is the purest one in this group, or whatever. But I also don't want to cook. <sighs> what to do? I guess I'll just risk dying. Jeez. Um, everyone? <clears throat> Come on, don't be like that. Have a little faith in Eden and Levi that they're not going to kill us all right after that trial, okay? It'd be, like, Even too so. obvious. And you confidently say that based on what exactly? Huh? Oh, yeah, Charles, too. But I'm... Ah, but I'm going to eat it anyways. I just thought that needed to be pointed out. I feel like everybody hates Ace, but I love Ace. I don't have that much of an appetite. I don't know why I even showed up. Um, oh, you all, I'm, I won't make you eat my food if you don't want to. I just thought it would be nice to have a meal prepared when you woke up. I feel like Eden just like eats the food first and so make everybody feel better. If you want to cook for yourself, though, I understand. In that case... If everyone is this worried about poisoned food, perhaps we should start cooking in groups now to ensure that no one would take advantage of being the sole chef. Damn, they are so untrusting already. I don't necessarily think that anybody would poison the food, but it may put you at ease. As I thought, the atmosphere is it's much darker obvious. now. Obviously, dumbass people died yesterday! It's true, but you don't have to point it out that bluntly. We all fucking get it! Huh. Um, I don't know what to do. All this talk of poison food and death is kind of like ruining my appetite. It's kind of ruining my vibes. The food is safe to eat. I assure you. Uh, <laughs> um, I guess all that cooking made me hungry. Yeah, I feel like if she just like tries it out. And you know, Levi was there to watch too. So, you know, I feel like, I feel like it's okay. But I understand why they feel a certain way about it. They're all just pissed at each other too. I get it. I know that you're you're all feeling in the dumps right now, so what you need more than anything is to eat and get your energy back. Bing bong. Mono TV. I like Mono TV a lot too. He's so memey. Uh -huh. Everyone, gather in the movie screening oh room. I have a super important announcement. Attendance is mandatory. Uh, we gonna get like a and motive when already? I gather. I mean gather now. I don't care if you're eating or sleeping or shitting blood. <laughs> Get your asses over here because this motive is seriously important. Shitting blood. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just a common occurrence. You know that happens in these mono TV death game shows. <laughs> what this is about. It is a Whatever. motive too. Get Interesting. Over here. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like, are you going to a girl? Girl. Oh, my God. Is that Taruko? Because I think she got a knife as her little special weapon. <laughs> like, I'm wasting no time today, bitch. Girl, I get it. Damn it. I feel like I gave her the sleigh pass, honestly. I feel like this is my fault somehow. And thank you to Pre for the membership uh, donation. Appreciate you. Jesus Christ. Oh, literally. She's even got the bandages on. <laughs> Cute. Hey, girly. Hey, Life girl. Is so hard. Let's not. Let's let's not slay. Let's not slay in the first in the first fifteen minutes. Let's maybe calm down. Let's maybe think this through a little bit. Jeez, I get you all together is like quarreling cats. I wish you were cats, actually, because then that would be fun. We could cancel this TV show and post cute cat videos instead. Viewership would shoot way up. <laughs> Exploitation for views. How dare you do that to the cats? Uh, everyone else has arrived. I thought I'd be the last one here. Seeing as I as I woken up by the announcement, I suppose not. Is Taruko here though? Yeah, nobody cares about her. Oh god, an actual motive! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! <laughs> Show us the damn motive quickly, Mono TV, and let us leave. Oh, we're missing someone. Hmm. Do y'all all forget about Taruka already? Maybe she does deserve the sleigh pass. Ah, mm. uh, Charles is right. There's only 13 people in this room. The recent departures of Min and Xander should leave us with a roster of 14. Who is that forgettable oh, really? that's not here? Hey, I'm a people too! Not to mention, Xander and Min are still here. We basically have... The fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that, Modern TV? <laughs> I made them into car air fresheners! Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Finastro. Oh, you gave Taruko the sleigh pass, all right. Yeah, I remember. And I won't for... God damn it. I was like, that feels like something I would have said, honestly, when she was, like, girl bossing out of the trial. She, like, kind of deserves it, though. She a little bit. She kind of just... I love Taruko. She's, like, literally my favorite protagonist. She is so... She is slay. Ugly. And did you make those paper puppets by hand? They look terrible. Ah, Taruko isn't here. Thank you. None of us have seen her since she, you know, threatened to kill all of us and stuff and got all pissed off. How troubling. Taruko seemed quite affected by the events of yesterday. Would she even <sighs> show up? Okay, if we don't have full attendance, can we just, like, Stupid. leave? Yeah, yeah, let's leave without hearing this emotive crap. Oh no, we're gonna have a repeat of last what chapter. Shame. Because last time someone died. Oh yeah, that's what it was. No wonder Mono TV. It's like, damn it, I bet I spent so much time preparing that motive. We didn't even get to do it. I forgot. They literally didn't even get a motive last chapter before before somebody murdered. Because last time someone died before I presented the motive. Today I tried to do it extra early to avoid that happening again, but I guess it can't be helped. Yeah, Taruko's ready, girl. What the fuck? What? Taruko's dead? I'm right, right here. here. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, oh, she finally showed up. Taruko. Ah, Taruko. Lame. And damn. Got my hopes up. <laughs> about the motive thing. <laughs> Not about Taruko being dead, of course. <laughs> sure. Good morning, Taruko. How are you feeling? Mm. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> ignored, ignored as you should, Queen. Thank you, Cherry Bun. Yes, yes. Happy belated birthday. Your actual birthday this time. I hope you've been well. I haven't been as active, and I'm trying my best. Oh, it's totally okay, Cherry. Oh god, I've been like the same way, honestly. But it's always good to see you with the streams and on the Discord and stuff. So appreciate you uh, stopping by for the stream. Hope you're doing okay too. Thank you. Now that all of us are here, it's time for me to present the second motive for murder. Come on, Taruko, try to kill before he presents the motive. It'd be funny because someone died before I could give out the motive last time. I'm presenting this one right away. That was getting kind of rude. Some of you may be a little discouraged to get killing after seeing what happened to Min when she failed to pass the trial. Uh, but don't worry. I don't care. Don't waste my time. I came here for the motive, not to hear you talk. Show me what it is already so I can leave. Ouch. Tough crowd. Oh, time. Okay, one piping hot motive coming right up. It is hot. Spicy. Literally because it just got out of the printer. Your okay. Your motive this time is... Let's see. Drum roll, please. Is he going to add on puppets every time somebody dies, too? Secrets. Oh. Deep, dark secrets. It's a chapter two motive. Glass has lots of secrets. <laughs> Dirty, embarrassing, Horrifying secrets. 
secrets that some would kill for. God, I believe it with this Each cast. Each of you has a paper with your name on it, containing one of your secrets. If a murder doesn't happen in four days, then I'm exposing them all, not only to your classmates, oh. but to the entire audience watching this TV show. That definitely adds on another layer of, like, embarrassment. Secrets, is it? Hmm. <laughs> This could be bad, but let's see what it is. Yeah, I feel like Taruko probably. I could see her having a pretty big secret at least. And yeah, with this with this cast, I'm sure I'm sure there's some fucked up stuff in these cards. <laughs> I slowly unfolded the paper and Huh? Huh. What is I feel this? like she wet the bed or something like lame. What the fuck? <laughs> it this is What the fuck? I don't understand. What the hell? Huh, is it just like lies or really messed up stuff? Um. How interesting. Oh gosh. Oh, oh my god. I forgot that you do that face. Ah, look at your facial expression. Is it sticking in for you? God, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. These are secrets that you desperately want to keep hidden. And if you don't murder soon, they won't be secrets anymore, besties. Don't you love despair? I can feel it. The panic must be setting wow. in. Did you make a mistake? This is not my secret. You must have given me someone else's. That's kind of what I was wondering, too. I was like, he could just lie and then still threaten to show it, like, on TV. Because, like... You know, if it's like somebody murdered, you know, like we be murdered, <laughs> her whole family. It's like, how's the audience going to know if that's true or not? If I don't have like a, I don't know, any evidence to back it up. It's not my secret. Oh, you too. I thought it was odd that my motive had someone else's name on it. Unless he mixed them up on purpose or something. Uh... Yeah, this is definitely not my secret. Okay, literally, okay, literally says the name of it. You took your talent to earn money for your family, but you've since put them in a lifetime of debt. Oh, Rose! Was it like she was having a hard time making money because she just like art forgery, right? Or something like that? Definitely not my secret. <laughs> Same here, mine is 100% someone else's motive. And I fucked this up. <laughs> it, did you mix up everyone's motives? Um, um, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> like a recurring thing every chapter Mono TV tries to do a motive but screws it up every time. Okay, raise your hand if you have the correct motive. The one that belongs to you. <laughs> Crickets. No one raised their hand. Whoops. <sighs> okay, I think I might have mixed them up uh, a little. Shit. <laughs> okay, guys, give me a few days and I'll have an even better motive. I, um... <laughs> I just hold on to those and then... Um, ah, uh, uh, sad Mono TV. I'm gonna um. get fired. Uh, Mono TV left. What should we do now? This is kind of like V3 where they got like the mixed up motives, but I feel like, I don't know, they said it was like, I think on accident in that one, but I kind of feel like it was on purpose. Um, um, why are you looking at me? I was really nervous earlier, but now I'm a little disappointed. Should you be, our secrets are still presumably out there, just in somebody else's hands. All that means is that someone else has some dirt on you and our secrets will be exposed in four days' time. I guess I might still motivate a murder, kind of like V3. Again, I swear. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant to do, see? <laughs> no, guys, it's exactly what I meant to do. It's just like V3 in that one chapter. That was a great chapter. Screw you guys. See, you all have each other's secrets, so yeah. Murder! <laughs> so then you'll want to murder Shut for up. some reason. Shut up and get out of my face, useless! Of Ace course. is just that he's not Aussie. <laughs> he's pretending to be Aussie. I don't even think he's meant to be Aussie in the original version. <laughs> it's just me. Somehow, Mono TV being a complete failure again is unsurprising. Anyways, if we receive someone else's secret, then the right thing to do would be to keep it to yourself, yeah? Or just like give it back to the other person, you know? We can work out what to do about this whole thing in a bit. But for now, we shouldn't be sharing other people's secrets. How uh, could you? Oh, what the? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Did you get my secret? Uh oh. Don't say anything. I swear to oh, Jesus. God, please don't say anything. Oh, Jesus. Why would you hide this from us? Oh, fuck. Why would you hide the fact that you're actually Julia Rosales? What the? Uh, what? Are you a celebrity? <laughs> oh, uh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. Jay Rosales. Wait, is she like a red carpet celebrity or something? Is she an icon? 
Oh my god, seriously? That's crazy. I guess it would make sense that Art's like all... If that's the case, that would probably I'd be like, But why do you look so ugly right now? Oh my gosh. It really is Julia Rosales. Jeez, you look so different from what I remember. Makes sense. I always thought you looked familiar. No wonder. Oh wow, I'm quite shocked. Although it's obvious in hindsight, now that I think about it... I know I've been making a fool out of myself in front of a famous person this whole time. Ow. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, um, am I the only one here who doesn't know what that's supposed to mean? I guess that secret is some sort of huge revelation about Shay, but I have no clue what it means. Impossible. Impossible. You don't oh, recognize God. her. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, all of you. Why is it such a big deal? What are you, like a model or something? Yeah, why is this a big deal? Well, first secret reveal. How exciting. By the way, the audience might be thinking, Julia Rosales, isn't that a fairly common name? What's the hype? Did you know? Well, not in this universe it isn't. There is only a few bigwigs in the last name with the last name Rosales in this world. And one of them happens to be this very person right here. Also, dang it, wait, oh, oh wait, what? <laughs> oh, what was that? A disclaimer. Also, dang it, Robin, it's time is work a fiction name. <laughs> <laughs> What's she supposed to be based off of? You might not recognize Julia Rosales, but you definitely know who Mary Bella Rosales is, right? Oh my god. Is she a Nepo baby? Jay, are you a Nepo baby? You can be honest. That, <laughs> that's kind of what it seems like. Julia's the daughter of Mary Bella Rosales. Well, it's kind of cool that she tries to like hide it, I guess, you know, so she, so she can like, I don't know, <laughs> work hard and make her own name. The ultimate Nepo baby. Oh, oh, that clears nothing up. I have no clue who that is. Stupid bitch. OMG. You are so stupid. You really don't know. Even I know who Mary Bella is, and I don't pay much attention to these kinds of things. Stop. I said explain, not keep talking like it's something I know about. Allow me to elaborate. <laughs> She's very, very good friends of the Kardashians. Oh, I remember when I gave Mary Bella her first BBL. Ah, oh, what a beautiful moment. A beautiful moment in history. Oh. Maria Bella is Should I say it? Oh god, she's slaying so hard. Let me turn my fan on. It's kind of hot in my room all of a sudden. She's slaying so hard, Jay. Ugh. This is why she didn't want us to know. It's because her mom slayed so hard she knew that we would suspect her because of that. Oh my god. Mary Bella is only the most famous Oh wait, actually, they might voice act the scene. Only the most famous, most beautiful actress ever. She's played in classic movies <laughs> like The Lizard of Oz, The Godfather, King Bong, and Troll 2. Troll, yeah, Troll 2. <laughs> oh, my, oh yes, all the best movies, <laughs> like Troll 2. She's the most recognized name in this <laughs> That's nation. awesome. It's inconceivable that you don't know her. Inconceivable. Uh, I might have seen that name on a billboard somewhere. I don't really watch movies. I can't believe you haven't seen Troll 2, Taruko. The greatest film of all time. Too flammable. <laughs> too flammable. God, was she in the room Maria too? Bella truly is a shining beauty among us. Her acting is simply a wonder to behold. I've always wanted to meet her and tell her how much. Oh my God! <laughs> yes, at once, Ms. Rosales. Oh my God! No! <laughs> now he's a simp. Yes. <laughs> I suppose I'll pick up the story where he left off. About oh two decades God. ago, Maria Bella Rosales married the famous film producer Hank Moreno. That made quite the splash in the papers. Naturally, the press homed in on their children as well. Oh. Maria Rosales and Ryan Rosales. They're both famous by virtue of being the children of such an illustrious couple. Nepotism, babies. Oh, my God. Jay and her, like, Haley Baldwin era. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Her brother, too. It's kind of cool we get to see him, though. That's awesome. And thank you to Simchan. Eyes. Thanks for being a part of the Kenjo Cold. Thank you, Bless Bane. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Oh my God, me. Me? I don't want to say it, but honestly. <laughs> me. <laughs> relatable. <laughs> Very relatable. Arturo, Koopa, Arturo's simp arc. Also my simp arc, arc for her mom. 
Her mom is looking fine. Thank you. Yuki Sim. Oh my god, Luna. Save your money. OMFG, my phone can't handle this, but I'm back. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you, Yuki Sim. <laughs> Julia in particular ended Counter. up taking lots of measures to avoid the press. I feel like her brother might become important I suppose some she was successful, too. since she's changed so much from her last public appearance a decade ago that none of us recognized her until now. Mm. Actually, I kind of want to double check what his shirt says. Oh, video games. I kind of thought it was really like the Nepo baby With shirt. <laughs> I got rich parents. A decade ago that none of us recognized her until now. I suppose if you hid your last name, then you could feasibly hide your birthright and avoid all the attention that it brings. Still, I Im imagine that it was quite difficult to shake off the paparazzi. That would kind of suck to be born into like, I don't know, having to deal with the paparazzi and stuff. If it's like not even your choice. So I assume it sucks wow. already as like a celebrity, but if it's like not even your choice. But then again, she's rich, so I'm like... Eh. <laughs> it's a price to pay. Okay, well, okay, I don't have anything to say. This really doesn't seem like a big deal to me. Beautiful people. And Mary Beller was this is truly an admirable person. The very ideal of beauty. As someone who admires her, I'm mortified for not noticing that her very descendant was of my classmates. You probably call her ugly at some point, too. And Julian's mom has got it going on. Oh, my God. She does. She does, though. And thank you, Jeff, for uh, the dono. Appreciate you. Julia, if only you hadn't hidden your natural beauty behind that rough, boyish look. First of all, shut your <laughs> damn mouth. There is nothing beautiful mm. or admirable about my mom. All she cares about is herself. Dressing up for the press and dragging her children into her stupid publicity schemes. Stop praising someone so vain and artificial. I am nothing like her. And second of all, don't call me Julia. I hate that damn name. Aw, poor Jay. Absolutely not. I refuse <laughs> to let you throw away your name and appearance that was gifted to you by your wonderful parents. You're amazing. After all, any one of us would do anything to be in your place. Don't throw away your birthright so easily. It kind of, it does kind of seem like, I don't know, it's kind of reminded me of like, I guess on a bigger scale than this, but I could see your mom kind of being like one of those sketchy like YouTuber parents who like use their kids for fame. Cause I could totally see if like the media wants to like focus on her kids, I could see her, yeah, like forcing them to go to red carpet events and having like, you know, making a big deal out of it and like kind of putting her in the spotlight even when she doesn't want to be. I think that is pretty messed up. Uh, speak for yourself. I'm perfectly happy not having an actress mom. Seems like too much attention. And this is exactly why I kept it secret. Because I knew as soon as you guys found out, then you <laughs> wouldn't shut up about Maria Bella this and Maria Bella that. She has to be in her mom's Please shadow too. Yelling. I was perfectly happy without everyone's eyes on me. Aww. And you, you ruined everything. <laughs> Julia, wait. I, I didn't mean to upset you. Julia, please don't shit talk me to your mom. That's all I really care about. Um. Uh. Oh, Nico. <laughs> They're so sensitive. <laughs> Tearing up just, just having to see Jay's trauma. <laughs> Maya certainly wasn't expecting that. Daughter of a famous actress. Who would have thunk? I always kind of wonder that too about people who were like children of like famous like actors or actresses. I think a lot of... um pressure like to put on yourself of like having to live up to like your mom because i don't know it kind of sucked to always just be like oh you're just mary bella's daughter or things like that luna oh my god luna save your money oh wait did you do it twice oh god okay thank god i think youtube just glitched out i was like luna save your money luna thank you for the donation but please i don't want you to be broke i don't want i don't want you to lose all your money is it just me or does R2 has seem like a super unreliable person? Maybe it's not a great idea for him to be our sole doctor. I'm pretty sure he just does like Botox and stuff anyways. Isn't this kind of bad though? Stupid. Even though stupid, worthless, good for nothing mono TV totally screwed up with this motive. <laughs> hey, I'm right here. I tried, okay? That's, it, that's what matters. It's still kind of problematic. Pussy. Jace. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> What's that line? And Jay's secret even isn't that bad. I mean, if I was in her place, I would totally flaunt it. Honestly, me too. And if we were in Hope Speak Academy, like we were supposed to be, we would have access to class rosters. And that wouldn't even be much of a secret to begin with. 
but still, Jay ended up throwing a tizzy about it. <laughs> I wish I had her hot mom. Seriously, having an actress mother or whatever isn't even that bad. There's definitely worse secrets in this class. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. We basically have no clue how bad this motive really is yet. Hmm. Well, I'm sure you all have terrible secrets. <laughs> Not me, though. <laughs> I'm perfect. I've got nothing to hide. That's um, true. She's right, though. This motive is a real problem. Mono TV's intention must be to cause conflicts, and it's working. I think for now, the best course of action would be to avoid sharing any more secrets to prevent further discord. Oh, discord. Um. What? Uh, why'd she get mad that he was agreeing with her? I feel like she's hiding something, honestly. What? But what about that deadline? If there's no murder in four days time, then these secrets will be public and not just to us. Yeah, that's the bad thing. Listen if it goes up, like everyone. to the public, you know what I mean? Then let's end this girl, <laughs> Delulu. Then let's end this killing game before that. <laughs> <laughs> Optimistic as ever, Eden. I'll do my best. How interesting. In the killing game, I won't say it's impossible, but we have no clue where to begin. Still, it would be an ideal solution that makes everyone happy. Mono TV gave us this motive to make us all fight, but instead we should fight back by working together. Work together to make sure that no more murders happen, and then escape this place. That's what we all want after all. It's just hard to, to hear the same regurgitated stuff. From like the Doug and Rafa cast are like, no guys, don't worry. We're gonna bust out of here before before another murder can happen. Don't you worry about it, bestie. That's just what's we're gonna stop this killing game. It's like, oh girl. You don't stop the killing game until chapter six when everybody's almost all dead. Thank you, Carl Russman. Doug and Rafa to spare time's a race between Ace and Arturo. <laughs> Arturo for worst boy. Okay, I love Ace though. Oi! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I love him. He's such a little chicken, but he's so freaking funny. And thank you, Raven Bat Orgel. Happy late birthday, Weeby Sama. Late gift. Oh, thanks so much. Appreciate you. God, it's so weird getting happy birthdays when it actually is like around my birthday. And y Luna! <laughs> Luna, what is this? I appreciate you, but save your money. I don't want you to go broke. You're so sweet, though, Luna. You're so sweet. And thank you to Ultimate Bad Luck Student VA for becoming a part of the Kenjo Cold. Woo! Speak for yourself. You've been nothing but a complainer this whole time, Taruko, and that's coming from... <laughs> and I truly am the worst boy. Feel free to all band together to find a way out of here. I'd be pleasantly surprised if you succeeded. And surely it'd be good for you if you left. I don't want you here. But I don't plan on ever leaving. Why? What are you saying? Um, excuse me, what do you mean by that? I meant what I said. I have made up my mind to live here forever. Why? No way! What? You can't really mean that. And why were you grabbing that knife earlier? Okay, little miss, live here forever. Yeah, I saw you planning the murder with your secret weapon. Well, I guess it could be used for defense still, but I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Well, you can't really mean that, right? We all have to, a life to return to outside of this killing game. Our friends and family are missing us. Our future depends on returning to the real world. Oh, what a nice sentiment. <laughs> Lame. But it doesn't apply to me. None of your motivations for wanting to escape apply to me. How bad is her life outside of the killing game? There's no one waiting for me outside, nor is there anything worth living for me out there. I might as well stay. Ember, God, I wish I kind of wanted to, I tried to refresh my memory as best as I could, but there's like some stuff I couldn't remember exactly. I do remember she had like a really bad luck. So did her family and friends like all already die because of that bad luck? I think like she had really bad luck besides like dying. <laughs> she couldn't die, but everything else sucked. <laughs> besides apart from all this killing gay business, this building really is a perfect place to live. Gross. You like living here? You can't really mean that. This place is a hellhole. Is it? Stop complaining. Haven't you ever stopped to consider how much work it takes just to live? Or have you college age somethings all been living under someone else's care for your whole life? I get they were college age. I couldn't really remember. Here, there's electricity, AC and heating, hot water, fresh food, a good bed. You don't gotta work for it. You don't gotta pay taxes on it. Practically hotel quality amenities. I don't have to make the choice between food and rent anymore. Now that I know how comfortable it is to live like this, I'm not going back. 
Okay, she's kind of got a point. <laughs> Keep searching for a way out. I won't stop you, but leave me out of it. And free rent and board? Free room and board, hell yeah. And free food? And I recommend that you drop the foolish optimism for making it out of here alive. With 100% confidence, I can say that. You will all die down here without ever seeing the outside world again. Damn. <laughs> this bitch is totally out of her mind. <laughs> I'm not saying this out of ill will, it's simply out of how the story works. I have played Danganronpa, okay? I know how this goes. You all have the misfortune of being characters. In a story. Huh. This is kind of weird. It's like breaking down the fourth wall. Is this gonna be some kind of like a meta ending? I mean, I know they're like in a TV show already, but how would she know she's like the protagonist? You know what I mean? I'm like, uh, huh. You're so sussy, Taruko. You're the sussiest protagonist ever. And I've played Danganronpa another. You all have the misfortune of being characters in a story where I'm the protagonist. Because of that, you're all doomed. Huh. I, on one hand, have the plot armor. I guess she does have, like, the luck that she's referring to that protects her, but we'll see. I guess she might mean that? It's kind of why she's, like, saying she's the, you know, protagonist. Or, yeah, maybe she just has, like, a main character complex. As for me, I'll simply survive whatever happens until I'm able to live peacefully all my own. <laughs> you guys saw my plot armor and how I fared up against Xander, right? Threatening us with literary metaphors. Oh, what a fallen hero. Taruko, how can you say that? From the bottom of my heart, I'm truly sorry about the inconvenience my bad luck has caused. I like that sprite. Hey, sorry to interrupt your fun conversation, but... As per the rules, with the conclusion of the trial yesterday, a new floor has opened up. There are some new rooms and services available. You can now use the elevator to move to the second floor. Now is a great chance to explore all the new fancy facilities this place has to offer you. Nice. Yo, a new floor? I want to see. Stop I'm excited that. to see it too. Wait, don't run off so foolishly. You don't know what could be there. <laughs> you don't want to trip. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck this motive. Fuck investigating. Fuck this killer game. I'm going to walk around randomly and get my head blown off by whatever's waiting for us. Who cares? Ba -ba. God fucking Ace. How can you guys not love Ace? I How can you not love him when he's just so positive and so, so amazing? So purposeful. Who cares? Bye bye. I think I'm hungry. I don't know if I should eat first or explore first. Personally, I don't see why we have to explore the new floor right this moment. So, I second getting breakfast. Teruko, are you going to the second oh, floor? Oh hey! Right now? Oh my God, he talked again. He's been so quiet. Yes, I am. Why? Can I go with me? <laughs> I guess he was like silent. If you need a partner to trial. explore with. Then I no <laughs> no thanks. I had a feeling. I'll do it by <laughs> Fuck off. See you around, Charles. I don't think he really ganged up on her last trial, though. You know, not compared to like the other people, because he was kind of you know like silent the whole time because he was scared of blood or something along those got along those lines. Let me look at some of the uh, donations. Thank you, Pokey Chan. But is Taruka wrong? She's not wrong. She's not wrong. It's just a little weird that she like automatically assume she's the protagonist. I mean, a lot of people do have main character syndrome, but it's, I don't know, with, I don't know, with that kind of stuff, I feel like, I feel like it means something else. It, I feel like it definitely means something else. I don't know it yet, I don't know what, but we'll see. Thank you, Raven Bad Orgel. Not like protagonists ever died in Danganronpa games, right? Right? <laughs> I know, right? Daruka, you are not safe, queen. I hate to break it to you, but, uh, <laughs> You are not safe at all just because you're the protagonist. I remember another female protagonist. Thank you, Inori's Electric Love for Levi. Hello, Weeby. Happy birthday to you. Xander has been added to Inori's Electric Team. We all love Levi here. Oh, yay, Xander. Oh, I love Xander. I miss him, honestly. He was such a good, uh, such a good, like, uh, character, too. Let me double check that I, uh, I think I got everything. Oh, actually, from Angel. Hi, Weeby. Just wanted to say... Want you to know that Ace did absolutely nothing wrong. <laughs> Hashtag Copium. That's what I'm saying too. He's just a he's just a silly little guy. And I'm so sick of people disrespecting my boy just because, you know, just because he's a piece of shit <laughs> and he's annoying, you know? It's like he can't help it. He can't help it. That's just how he was born. Okay? Leave him alone. 
Oh, I love Ace. I love him because he's annoying. I love him because he's a piece of shit. I accept him for who he is. And that's the difference between me and you. Oh, man. Oh, thank you so much, Zane. Why does Ian remind me of Satsuki so much? Oh, I miss Satsuki. Oh, I can see that, though, honestly. Thank you for the dono. Hum. Oh, it hurts. Oh. Still from the, uh, I guess, like, yeah, like, leftover from getting, you know, hey, <laughs> stab and stab. Definitely wasn't this painful yesterday, but when I woke up today, it hurt like hell. I barely made it through that meeting. Did the anesthetic wear off? <laughs> Crap, it's so bad. Screw you, Xander, for stabbing me. Damn it, someone's coming. I need to get up again. Uh, I gotta, gotta pretend to be strong. Yeah, because people see that she's, like, weak. She's definitely gonna be an easy target. It doesn't. It doesn't hurt at all. I've had worse. So this doesn't hurt at all. Poor Taruka. That's why I stand you, queen. Deep breath. Okay, all right. I can keep it in. No wonder she doesn't want to be around anybody, too. I got in the elevator. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. A little chibi version. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh, hey! Jeez. Uh. You could have at least held it open for me. Get out. <laughs> Oh, come on. oh, I get it. Why? Get out. Why? But she's so nice. You're riding an elevator with someone else. In an enclosed space like this, we're both sitting ducks. So get out. She's got a point there, That's too. That's a little extreme. Get out. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Her little bow turns into, like, ears when she's sad. <laughs> if you really think so, I'll just cry myself to sleep tonight cutely because I'm so adorable. Gonna come back. Come on, come back, Eden. Ah, oh. I was hoping she'd come back. <laughs> it's like psych runs back in. <laughs> I like how she just like destroyed the elevator button too. I just fixed that. <laughs> Sorry, Mono TV. Elevator music too. Slow jazz. She came up the stairs. Oh my god! I want to see Eden again. A playground, relaxation room, gym, a dress up room. Nice. In any case, it seems like the monopad is updated with a new map. I feel like uh, Levi's gonna like that room. Okay. But playground! Relaxation room. Why is there a fish? It's a lot smaller than the first floor, only four rooms. And it looks like the elevator is still the only way to move from floor to floor. I'll go check out the first room, I guess. The dress-up room. What is a dress-up room? Oh my god, can we do makeovers? Okay, some hair, too. I was trying to see if that references anybody. I feel like this one kind of looks like Sora, right? I don't know if that's what it was supposed to be going for. Changing room. Ah, oh, so it's a boutique of sorts. Check it out. Yahoo, new clothes. I need a change of pace anyways. Oh my god, can we all get makeovers? Oh my god, can we all get new clothes? I feel like I'm shopping for clothes. I can't help but get a little excited. Like I'm a child at the mall again. So many nice outfits to try on. It seems there's more than just clothes here. There's sewing machines and fabric. I suppose it's for mending clothes. Okay. I feel like that could be like, I don't know. I can see that. It's like, oh no, I ripped my shirt while murdering somebody. Better go to the, the sleigh room to fix it. I don't know why I could see that being a thing. It's like whenever we're in like these phases, I'm always like, how could this fit into like a murder scene of some sort? How could this be a truth bullet? That's always my, my go-to. And let me just read some of these donos I missed. Thank you, Wits Bitter Coffee. Aw, I, I love Wits so much. Wits slayed in the, sec in the second episode. It's chapter two, thumbnail for real. I know, he looked so good. I saw that in the preview. He looks so, I love Wit. He's probably one of my favorite characters too. I like, the whole cast for this game is so good. I think that's why this is probably one of my favorite fan games. It's like bounce off of each other so well. They're so funny. Thank you, Shumi. Uh, bullying a girl, not cool to Ruko. <laughs> nice. I love the reference. Oh, man. Thank you, guys. Y'all are so sweet. We're making our own outfits. Hum, sewing kits are useful to repair things. I'll take one. Whoa! Whoa, stealing. Call the police. Does anyone really care if I move things from here to my bedroom? I'm kind of like with Taruko now, too. It's like they got food. Free food. Free board. Now they got free clothes. I would just live here forever. Fair point. Perhaps. No rent. 
All these clothes and fashions seem right up Levi's alley, doesn't it? I saw him somewhere on this floor earlier. Why don't we call him and... He's gonna be so excited. Uh, no, don't you dare! Oh! I need the three of you alone in this room. Why? Huh? Huh? Why didn't you close the door? What's going on? You three, I need a serious chat with you. You guys are not serving at all. We need to change up your wardrobe. Is that really what this is going to be? Um, why? You're making my job harder. Oh my god, really? <laughs> you three have been voted as the worst outfits in the cast. Who's serving? The Who's Serving Pool by uh, the Danganronpa Despair Time production. You guys ranked last on the serving pool. You're really taking my ratings. You're really taking my ratings with your fail outfits. Lamel. Voted worst outfits by who exactly? Uh. By me. Uh, oh, by me. The audience has no Boo. say in this. Boo. How undemocratic. <laughs> Who? You have too many damn butterflies on you. We get it. You like butterflies. Tone it down. What are you? What are you like a horse girl but with butterflies? A uh, lame. Taruka, why are you wearing a sailor school uniform? Not only are you not a high schooler anymore, but you haven't even been in Japan for years. <laughs> I just like the aesthetic, okay? That actually is kind of... He's got a point there. I'm only wearing this uniform because... Wait, you have... <laughs> okay, come on. You gotta admit, Mono TV, he, he's serving. How, how can you not see him serving right there? Wait, you have too many damn hearts on you. We get it. You're pink and you like hearts. We get it. You're gay. <laughs> Tone it down. It's a little homophobic, Mono TV. I'm not letting you out until you change these new outfits. So here, since I've confiscated all your spare outfits, you don't have a Jeez. choice. Uh, you know, if you just wanted us to change clothes, there was a much better way to do this. <laughs> Could have been a little bit nicer about it. Get moving. Okay, Wit, off to the changing rooms you go. I'm excited huh? to see their new outfits, though. <laughs> Why, me? You gave, gave Terahuko full outfits, but all you gave me was a pair of earrings and socks. <laughs> Shouldn't they go into the changing rooms? You only got earrings and socks? Lame. No, he needs a full makeover, too. Well, I'm only going to perform surgery on your eyeballs. Don't worry. It won't, it will only hurt a lot because I'm actively trying to make you suffer. The procedure is super safe. Otherwise, gonna get his, oh my God, he's gonna get his like eyes changed. But, but I like my hard eyes. Okay, you ladies can get changed now. <laughs> oh, also, Taruka needs a haircut. Oh, holy shit. Oh, stop that. It's don't throw scissors. What is wrong with you? Teruko, you... Hmm? Oh. Oh, that. It's rude to stare, you <laughs> She's know. It's like, oh my god. Oh. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. What happened there? Holy crap. Let me, um, I think I might have missed a dono, too. Wow, that's a huge scar. Thank you, Anori's Electric Love for Levi. Also, I wanted to thank you again. I've been MIA for the past few months. Left my job that was ending me. And I'll never forget how much your streams helped me during that time. Oh, that's so sweet. Gosh, I know what it's like to be stuck in a bad job. So I just wish you the best with trying to find a new job and hopefully people that treat you better. Because, you know, you deserve to be treated better. I know companies, like, man, they just treat you like, well, I was going to say some companies, most companies. <laughs> most companies just treat you like a number. But I hope you can find somewhere that you enjoy and uh, find some people that treat you well. And I'm so glad the streams have helped. Um, Forgive me for asking. But that scar on your back can't have been from these recent it looks events, pretty old. could it? Of course not. It's an old injury. Yeah. Well, what happened? <laughs> not telling you. I don't care. What? You don't care? After everything that's happened, do you believe me if I say I'm unlucky? Misfortune is inevitable. I've long since stopped questioning it. If I get in a car, it'll crash. If I stand in a construction site, it'll crumble to dust. If I trust others, they'll turn their back on me. Poor Taruko, man. They do kind of look like burn marks, now that I think about it. When my life is so eventful, I no longer remember the details. Whatever accidents and whatever people I was involved with. They're mundane, so I don't care. It does look Hi. badass, though. And, you know, as a shining light, as a light at the end of the tunnel, Taruko, it does look pretty badass. 
And you also Peace. done. You need to look really pretty. Thank you. Oh, I love it. Wow, she does look better. I love that dress. Oh, it's so nice. Thank you. You look the same. <laughs> exactly the same. Mm. Well, you know, he decided that I was serving, you know, actually, after I did my little pose, you know. I mean, how could he deny it? <laughs> Come on. Um, I do feel like this is an improvement. Oh, she looks good, too. I like it. Did he, didn't he say he cut her hair, though? I don't really know if I see the Thank haircut, you. though. I love who's, though. Hers looks great. Oh, so mm. pretty. Um, I do feel like this is an improvement. I like hers, too. I like the, the matching bandage, too. This is much more comfortable than the key pal. Also, this looks really similar to some of the clothes I have at home. What does it mean? I would like to believe it's a coincidence that this just happens to be the same brand that I like. <laughs> yeah, I was stalking you. Otherwise, it would mean that whoever kidnapped me also knew enough about me to know my specific clothing brand taste. At worst, they outright stole my clothes from my own home. Ugh, what a horrifying thought. Your clothes seem pretty personalized for you. That's really strange. I've noticed that whoever trapped us here seems to know us really well. Kind of wonder if they did visit their families and homes, you know? What do you mean? Okay. You usually kind of know that from the first motive with, like, the video, but we haven't, you know, since... <laughs> you know, since Mono TV screwed that up, we never saw that. For example, so. do any of you take any prescriptions? Oh... And that was a rhetorical question. But I've talked to some people around here and they've noted that any specific medication they take has been provided in their rooms for them and only them. So nice of Mono TV to help. <laughs> you know, even though I make you guys kill each other, I'm gonna supply your antidepressants for you. And no problem. Oh, thank you so much. Nori's electric love for Levi. Thank you, I found a new job already. Lab assistant at a graveyard shift. Uh, first for me, but I'm already loving it. I miss the doggies, though. Oh, man. I'm glad you found a new job. I hope you enjoy it. Gosh, I've never done a graveyard shift before. I hope that, uh, I hope that you're able to, like, get used to it. I know some people's kind of, like, their sleep schedules are a little bit easier, but, uh, that's so great. I'm glad you found a new job and you kind of worked through that. And thank you so much for the dono. Appreciate ya. Indeed, that's awfully strange. If whoever orchestrated this TV show knows this much about us, then why are they trying to ensure our comfort? Yeah. I haven't noticed any such things. Well... Um, well, I can give you a specific example if it helps. I'm a very light sleeper. I can't sleep if there's even the slightest bit of light. There are TVs in all of our bedrooms, as there are in most rooms like this one. They all have a small indicator lights to show when they're on or off. From the moment I woke up here, there was a small piece of tape on the TV's indicator light in my room to cover it up. That way the light doesn't bother me at night. God, that is really specific. I guess they are the, the talent for the show. I'm starting to wonder if this even is a show since they keep pushing it so hard. I checked around and I'm the only person who has such a thing. That's sort of creepy, isn't it? Like whoever put us all here knows such small details about us to even do these little gestures to help us sleep soundly at night. That's very unsettling and also very strange. Forgive me for saying this so bluntly, but you'd think that to encourage us to murder, they'd take away our comforts, and yet this isn't the case. That's what I was thinking, too. Because, like, even um, in some of the other, like, fan games, you know, they take away, like, food or other things like that. It's kind of weird that they're making it so comfortable for them. Mono TV said that the mastermind was one of us, right? If that mastermind was someone who knew everyone personally, and they wanted everyone to be comfortable, be then wouldn't you suspect the nicer people Jeez. among us? Jeez, not another Among Us reference. Way to twist everything into a way to distrust others and miss negative Nancy. Uh, so now I'm saying the mastermind is Eden. She's too nice. I'm keeping my guard up, that's all. Even the one, even the people who are seemingly friendly can hide the worst intentions. I've learned enough from Xander. Now if you would excuse me, I need to explore the rest of this floor. Whoa, hang on. What? what? Charles wants to talk oh. to you. Uh, trying to like wingman him. Charles, what does he want with me? I don't know. He didn't tell me what it was about, but he wants you to meet him in the infirmary at noon. Capiche? <laughs> oh, man. I remember another boy wanting to meet me alone somewhere. It didn't really work out that well, huh? Maybe try to be a little bit more sensitive to that, Charles. 
She's got to say no. I would of say course. no. And he chose to send that message through you rather than talk to me directly. You two are such good friends now, is it? Oh, All right, right. I did say he was my friend I during that trial. I did say he was my friend oh. during that trial, didn't I? To be honest, hmm. that was a total lie. I only said that to make everyone believe my case. Nah, you guys are besties. But I guess he took it to heart, or thinks he owes me, or something, because he's been weirdly nice as of late. <laughs> Aw. And I guess I ended up changing my mind, too. We are friends, I suppose. <laughs> Don't know where I was going with that tangent. <laughs> <sighs> Look, I know it's easy to assume the worst out of Charles. I mean, I used to be the most judgmental of him out of all of us. But I realize that he's not just some asshole all the time. <laughs> he's not just some asshole. He's my asshole. Aww. He's only an asshole some of the time. <laughs> oh, that's deep. Oh, kidding. Charles? No. Everyone here. We might act callously, but we're all only human. We're all real people with our individual emotions and weaknesses. Oopsie. You included, Terrico. Just like Charles. Even if you're acting cold, there's still a part of you that's good. If you want to talk about how great you think Charles is now, that's fine. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you start talking about me and saying that I could be a good Ooh, person if right. only I make an attempt to change, then I'm going to stop you right there. Ooh, the, oh my god. <laughs> to be a good person, the drama, the sass, Teruko. I love her so much. Ah, uh, queen. That's Don't bright say too, that man. I be a good person. Because all it'll do is make me feel bad that I'm not. I'll think about talking to Charles. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll take that as a win. All right, see ya. Take care, Taruko. Man, those sprites were so good. I loved her sass. I loved it so much. Good person. <laughs> so good. All right, next up, a gym. Oh. Oh, nice. The animation for the uh, fans, too, mm. looks good. Oh, wait. What the? <laughs> what was that sign? Tips to stay healthy, eat a whole stick of butter, give up, cry, have a heart attack, the end. <laughs> uh, so motivational. Mm. It's a jib, certainly. Finally, a realistic oh, motivational poster. Oi, what the hell you doing here, Lave? I'm here to explore the new floor, as is everyone else. I thought Mono TV made that clear. <laughs> yeah, well, this jackass clearly isn't here to do any exploring. Ace. Oh, Ace, I already said. Sorry, won't cut it. You know, that's just a word you say, right? You think that it, saying two syllables is gonna make me forget how you acted yesterday at that trial? Oh, yeah, was it towards Ace that he was, like, really, like, mm, towards, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, I remember Levi was, like, kind of creepy during that trial for a second. Like, he just kind of, like, popped off. Uh, God, I can't remember exactly what triggered it. If you guys remember in the chat, please let me know to refresh my memory. And most likely was towards Ace, though, now that I, uh, <laughs> now that, you know, I see him acting like this. You know, Levi just got annoyed with Ace like everybody else in the chat <laughs> does regularly. Already said that I briefly lost control of myself then. I really didn't mean any of those things I said. Uh Levi threatened to strangle him. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Jesus. Oh, oh you really? didn't mean to say you want to strangle me dead. That was just something that slipped out, I guess. Or maybe you mean it as a funny little joke, huh, funny man? Motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. You can put your foot on your tricycle and start pedaling backwards. The fuck are you talking about, man? Backwards all you want, but it's too late. You show me your true colors, mate. Um... Guys, why don't you- why don't you guys just like kiss and make up? Come on. Wait, why am I getting involved? This has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Kill each other for all I care. Did you change your clothes, Taruko? Uh, you look good. Um, slay. L don't tell me that. Look, I'm here to investigate. I'm not interested in small talk today. Anyway. Anyways, as one would expect from a gym, there's all sorts of exercise equipment and... Is this a mini fridge? Oh, cute. It's full of energy drinks, water, fruits, and granola bars. Um, who refrigerates granola bars? Yay! You don't want to knock back a nice cold. <laughs> Go, who doesn't want to knock back a nice cold granola bar after a hard workout? Uh, 
Um, no. Does anybody do that? Listen, I'm, I'm just thinking about what humans would do, okay? I'm a robot, okay? I'm trying to figure out what you guys are like. I'm trying here. Listen, I put out these complimentary drinks and snacks for everyone to enjoy. The least you could do is not bitch about it. Oh, they're complimentary. Now that I think about it, it would be good to have more food in my room. I'm not gonna refrigerate it like a psycho, though. I took all the drinks and granola bars out. Oh, I took all the drinks and granola. I'm so used to voicing guys for protagonists. I took all the drinks and granola bars out, practically emptying the fridge. Jeez, you're definitely the kind of person who takes the whole bowl of candy when the sign says take one. Moving on. Let's see. Since I've never been in a gym before, I'm not really familiar with any of the things in this room. These machines are, <laughs> girl, girl, are you, you cannot be for real right now. <laughs> Never been in a gym before, really? That seems really strange. I like, girl, do you not have gym class in school? Are you for, <laughs> I thought I was out of shape. Thank you, Inori's electric love for Levi. I'm so jealous. I want Levi to, <laughs> now I see why jail was getting spammed in the chat. I thought I saw people talking about jail. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> jail. Jail, Anori. <laughs> Thank you for the no no. Appreciate you. These machines are. I don't know what this is for. <laughs> what is this? For cooking? These are dumbbells, certainly. I picked one up. Oh, why is it so heavy? That one's like half a pound. Heavy. It seems that. It could definitely be used as a blunt force weapon to murder. In fact, there's a lot of dangerous looking things in here. Yep. Yep, I always make sure that murder weapons are freely available everywhere. You simply need enough cre creativity to know how to use them. You can't keep track of every potentially deadly object, no matter how hard you try. That is true, the gym can be very dangerous. So it's pointless to guard the knives in the kitchen or to compensate everyone's personal weapons. What do you mean? Oh yeah, I was thinking too, since Taruko like, got her knife at the beginning of the last episode, I feel like that's going to be important somehow. I don't think she is planning to kill. I think she is being honest about just wanting to stay here. It kind of makes sense, I guess, since she has like such bad luck. Maybe like being in such a controlled environment makes her feel kind of like safer somehow, you know what I mean? Like if she never has to leave here, never has to, you know... Because, like, literally she was saying that, like, hey, if I get in a car, it's going to crash. If I get in an airplane, it's going to crash. Like, I could see why, hey, I wouldn't want to work anywhere or go anywhere if I had that bad of luck. I just want to stay in, like, the killing game building, too. So, I think she is being honest. I think what might end up happening is, like, somebody tries to attack her during this chapter. And that's where, like, the significance of her getting the knife comes from. I feel like maybe somebody noticed that she actually is, like, weak, you know what I mean? Like, um, because she's trying so hard to hide it, but, um, I could see somebody, like, seeing her when she doesn't think anybody's looking, and then kind of, like, all of a sudden, um, they decide to attack her. Also, yeah, I think I saw somebody in the chat talking about Mondo and Butter. It is kind of ironic. It does say Butter in the gym. <laughs> I didn't really think about that. <laughs> Eat a whole Mondo. It isn't really pointless, as long as we make it more difficult to commit a murder. Shut up! Don't give him ideas! Ideas for what? So rude! Ideas to not commit murder, obviously! In any case, I need to constantly watch my back. Any object could be an improvised weapon, and any place could be an opportunity for murder. <laughs> Chat, not like any of us need to make weapons out of dumbbells or whatever. Yeah, Lula got their own personalized weapons. After all, Levi would just snap my neck with his own hands if I get too out of line. Right? Right, Levi? Fucking douche. Why do you have to constantly bring that up? I said I, I said sorry. That works for every other Danganronpa character. Oh, and I'm sure men regret, regrets killing Xander, but that doesn't change the fact that they both... Shut up! Do the two of you ever stop bickering? Shut up, I'm trying to investigate. I apologize. Uh, I'm sorry. Psh. Whatever. I'm not gonna apologize <sighs> for being the worst boy. Why are you both still here? If all you do is argue, why doesn't one of you leave? Uh, yeah, for real. Is this a stick? Oh my god! <laughs> it's a weight for bench pressing. Why are there mirrors to check your lifting form? Ah, uh, yes. But what is this rubber band? For choking, I guess. Well. You really have never been to a gym before, have you? 
damn. Oh, something like this is useful for physical therapy. Since I injured my shoulder, it might be helpful for me. I guess she could maybe use that for her injuries. I guess that might, uh... That might help. And what's this? You need this? I don't necessarily need it, but... Do you fuck... <laughs> okay. Okay. Ace is the worst boy, but he's my worst boy. <laughs> he's my piece of shit. <laughs> That's why I love him. Too fucking bad mine now. I'm keeping it. He's so unlikable that he's lovable. You know what I mean? It's like those dogs that are so ugly that they're cute. That's that's how I feel about Ace. Check on your own spit and die, asshole. Ah, that's just little Acey guys. Come on, isn't he so cute? I wonder what these clips are for. Am I like the only Ace Dan? I feel like I'm the only Ace Dan. Druko, what do you think I should do? Just what? ignore him. He's kind of a douche. What? What should I do to make things up with Ace? I feel utterly lost. Uh... Your first, your first step should be to not ask me for relationship advice. You know it's me you're talking to, right? I'm pretty sure I'm like the most hated person right now among this group, if I can be honest. So far, you very much seem like the kind of person who destroys their friendships easily. Because of that, presumably, you may have experience in repair- <laughs> Repairing uh. them? Um, was that a backhanded compliment? That was blunt, even for you. Okay, I think I saw- I see like three ace stands in the chat. I'm with you guys. Oh, hey, there's some more actually. Okay, cool. I'm not the only one. Thank you, someone unknown. Why can't Levi just hug instead of snapping necks? <laughs> That's just how he shows his love. Oh, man. Thank you, Inori's electric love for Levi. The way I want to read this as a Roja's electric love for Levi half the time. He can snap, snap my neck. <laughs> snap my neck to, I'll die happy. Jail. Yet again. Jail. Oh, spam call. Nice. Bye-bye. And let me see if I had any more. Oh, thank you. This is a random fandom. Your streams are so fun to listen to while working on my fan gan. Thanks, Weeby. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you listening to them while working on your fan gan. Excited to uh, see what your fan gan is about, too. I'm so happy that the community has gotten so, like, I don't know, creative with, like, creating your own fan gans. It's like, you know, Spike Chunsoft was like, no more Danganronpas, and the fans were like, bet. <laughs> I love it, dude. It's so cool. But thank you. Thanks for stopping by. That was blunt, even for you. <sighs> you really want my advice. My honest advice on what to do with Ace. I see some people down bad in the chat right now. What should I do? I think you should aban <laughs> abandon him and please kill him. I'm I'm so sick of hearing him, bitch. What do you mean? A what? Stop complaining. You asked me specifically, don't complain if you don't like what I have to say. Come on, slay. <laughs> what you got to lose? Don't try and repair your relationship with Ace. There's no point. When someone has made up their mind to turn their back on you, there's nothing you can do to change their mind. You can only walk away from them in turn. She's literally like the worst person to ask a relationship, relationship advice from. I don't know why you're trying so hard to win his trust back anyways. What's the point? In this kind of killing game situation, Ace is utterly useless. Someone like him who is volatile, a coward, and has no common sense will die quickly. What the fuck? Oh shit, what the fuck is wrong with you? I can still hear you, you know? <laughs> well, I got more things to say. I'm gonna come back in and be the person, the person to say the last bit. Uh, I always get the last word in. Oh, thank you so much. Wits, bitter coffee. Ace is so meow meow. So true, besties. So true. I agree with that. Ever since yesterday, you became so nasty. Even if you were in front of me this whole time, I would have said the same. I believe in what I said, so there is a point. So is there a point you're trying to make? Uh, uh, I should have realized it from the start. In this killing game, everyone is out to get me. Especially people who love picking fights with me. People like you and Levi. I'm not here to make friends. I can't believe I wasted my time with all that dumb shit like arm wrestling and running around screaming at meaningless stuff. I was fucking stupid to not take this killing game seriously from the start. I'm done being everybody's kickable scaredy cat. Okay. Is it time for- is it time for character development, Ace? Hell no, Weeby! The only thing I should do is look out for myself and myself alone. 
Okay. I guess he might go off on his own now, too. I mean, he's already been kind of like... I feel like off on his own. He just, like, kind of comes to the group to bitch. To be like, Oh, shit, I'm gonna die! Oi, mate! <laughs> Crikey! Hum. Enjoy your new gym facilities! Perfect for an indoor lifestyle! You were right, Taruko. Oh, I should ask someone different for advice. You think? Okay, I'm done here, too. I fully explored this gym. We even have a mini fridge filled with complimentary drinks and snacks. Refill daily. Get your ice cold granolas here. Oh, everybody already left. <laughs> Sad. Looking left. Oh, that's cool. I like the animation for the sprites. That's so cool. And thank you, David, for stopping by. Wow, god dang. 39 months. It's have a good stream. Oh, thank you so much, David. Hope you're uh, doing okay, too. And feeling uh, well. But thank you so much for stopping by. Man, 39 months. That's wild. Looking left. Looking right. To the left. To the left. Okay, no one's in the halls. I stooped down and caught my breath for a few seconds. Ah, oh, poor Taruko. This sucks. I hope it heals quickly. She is so strong, though. Like, I would never guess otherwise that she was, like, dealing with that. Okay, moving on. What is this next room? A relaxation room? Is she gonna trust Art to, like, help? Huh, this is... Ah, oh, it smells good. Yep. Yep, that's the incense. There's different kinds in that cabinet for different moods. I'm burning some right now because it's the first day this room is open. And I, and I want to fully show off all the features. Okay. Interesting. Relax in the relaxation room. No, that slogan isn't very good. Have a good time in the relaxation room. Can you change your clothes, Taruko? Yes. Oh my god, slay. Can everybody please stop telling me to slay? I have a feeling something bad's gonna happen if you guys keep doing that. Fish. Nico was staring at the pond intently. Oh, there are fish in here. What are those? Okay, cool. I guess that's why it had the little fish mark. I think. It's nice in here, though. It's like a little garden. It kind of reminds me of, um, well, like a very, a much, much smaller version of, like, the garden area in, um... The second Zero Escape game? I don't know why the name's not... Oh, Virtue's Last Reward? I think it was that. And thank you, Fallen Redditor. Character digression is still a character arc. That's true. <laughs> I honestly love character digression arcs just because, like, you don't see it as often. So it feels, like, more unique. And thank you, Inori. Ace talking. Angry Chihuahua noises! <laughs> Basically, that's all he really does. He just kind of comes in and screams and leaves. Thank you so much for the donation, though. Appreciate you, Inori. These are minnows. I wonder who's been taking care of them. Are you going to speak to them, Nico? Yep. Let me know what they say. I have. Why do you ask? Uh. Oh, no wonder. I was going to say whoever was taking care of these fish was doing a horrible job. They are talking so much shit about whoever was taking care of them. Uh, let me tell you. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> look how unhappy they look. You are really bad at taking care of fish. I'm surprised they haven't all died already. Nico's like the animal whisperer. Never take care of animals ever again. <laughs> uh, okay. But I'm a cat dog thing. Hey, you're blunt. Why? Uh, I am? Well. This is the first time I've really seen them be uh, blunt. You don't know. Even in the trial yesterday, you said a lot of straightforward things. Like calling people dumb. I like that in you. To be honest, it's a bit of a surprise that someone as shy as you can be so rude. You're just like me. It's just sorry. like me for real. Um, did I say that? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt anyone's feelings. Even though I'm shy, I often get told that I'm too aggressive. I could see Nico being kind of like blunt. Like they don't realize, you know, they're just kind of expressing exactly their opinion and they don't realize that they're being like, too blunt. You know what I mean? I feel like there's like, I feel like Nico's a sweetheart, but they just kind of might have that sort of like, can't read the room super well. But I don't mean it. I don't really realize if I'm being rude. What do you mean? So, um, how do I explain? If you're having dinner and want someone to pass the salt, you can say, please pass the salt, or you can say, give me the salt. Why? One of those things is supposed to be more polite than the other, right? But why? They both mean the same thing. They're just slightly different mixes of words. It's like that. I don't understand why someone mixes some mixes of words come off as rude and some don't. 
even if they mean the same thing. I'm sorry if that didn't make sense. I'm really bad at explaining things. I'm sorry, Nico. It'd be like that, you know what I mean? I understand well enough. And you don't have to worry about being too blunt because, well, it's me you're talking to. I don't understand what that means. It seems to me that human interaction is all about secret rules and categories that everyone but me knows. That's why I like animals so much. There's no talking involved. No confusing human rules. I feel that honestly. <laughs> I feel that honestly. It's like, uh, it's like sometimes it's so nice to be around an animal because I'm like, you're not, you're not judging me. <laughs> I love that you're not judging me. And like, I don't have to worry at all about coming off a certain way. You know, animals are just so pure. Hey, I'm not a human. You can tell me anything you want, anything at all. Okay, I hate you. <laughs> that was mean. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> the jump in the river. Don't do that. <laughs> if you short circuit, you'll kill the minnows. That is so true. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> was that bad? But you said I could tell you anything at all. Is that not what you meant? Yay! <laughs> just kidding. I don't care. <laughs> I love that Nico was just like, we gotta protect the minnows. And thank you, Captain Draken. The autism is strong with this one. I can definitely see that because I know like Gen is um, confirmed to have autism and you're... Oh, God. Is that a spoiler? Oh, fuck. You heard nothing. <laughs> you heard nothing. Oh, shoot. Did I just spoil that? Um, I just like, I don't know like too much about it. So I don't want to like say it bluntly unless it's like, whatchamacallit. Um... Like confirmed, but yeah, my bad if I if I spoiled that. Okay. Right. Let me take care of the fish from now on. I'll do a better job than you. I don't know. I just never want to say anything like confirmed unless it is like confirmed. You know what I mean? Sure, but you have to feed them on a specific schedule. After all, this room is off limits during nighttime. I still can not tell like uh what voice to give Mono TV. Huh? Why? Did you know? An automated misting system waters the plants at night, but it also makes the turf wet. When the turf is wet, it's sticky. And if I let people come in here when the turf is wet, then the turf will stick to them and then get carried outside of this room and make a mess everywhere. Okay, that seems like something important. Automated misting system waters the plants at night, but it also makes the turf wet, so it's sticky. Oh, that's going to be a thing. It's the same reason why wet beach sand gets everywhere, but worse, because the turf absorbs water. In summary, this room closes at 10 p.m. when misting happens throughout the night, and it won't open until 8 a.m. when everything is definitely dry. Okay, so it closes when the misting happens. I still feel like that's going to be important, but we'll see. Maybe I'm just overanalyzing it. If you're letting Nico take care of the fish, why not let him water the plants, too? I'm confident in my ability to raise plants. Also, these plants are misted with a very special enriched formula. So normal tap water or pond water won't do. Enriched formula. I don't really understand that logic, but okay. This is a pretty nice room. It's very relaxing. I know, right? That's why it's called the relaxation room. Because you relax in this room. Get it? Uh, I need a new slogan. I might take a nap here. Don't do that. <laughs> That's such a death flag. <laughs> don't sleep in public places. You're practically asking to be murdered. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Was that a meow I just heard? <laughs> uh, thank you, Digging Rapa News. I have this for five months and I didn't realize. I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of confused on Nico's pronouns too. Because she said he, but in like the refresher thing, um, I noticed it was referring to Nico as they. So I'm not totally sure. I'm so confused. Yeah. I'm kind of confused about that. I apologize if I say anything wrong. Okay, looks like there's one last... It was really nice that they had that video, too, that, like, refreshes you on, like, what happened in the previous chapter. But I noticed, yeah, for the character profiles, it said they um, instead of he. Okay, looks like there is one last room on this floor. Playground? Is both okay? Oh. Oh, Monokuma! We ran out of sand! Sorry! <laughs> Sorry, we ran out... That's not in the budget, okay? <laughs> so don't complain! <laughs> oh, my God.
This is... So exciting! Oh, oh my god, the playground! I haven't been in one of these since I was a child! This looks so much like what my grandpappy took me to! Taruko, come play with me! What? No. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm dead. Um... <laughs> him, I'm fine, don't worry. I'm not worried about you. If your body was fragile enough to break from a light fall like that, then you wouldn't have done something so stupid. <laughs> I love how annoyed Mono TV looked during all that. It's fun to stand on swings, okay? It makes me feel tall. I didn't know that the, these ones would be quite so slippery. I feel like she's already pretty tall naturally, right? But really, I'm not hurt at all. The ground is very soft. You're making my job harder. You can't prevent dumb kids like you from hurting themselves. This ground is actually made out of the same stuff the turf in the relaxation room is made out of. Very spongy. Like how will that fit into a murder? <laughs> what if, what if somebody brings in a bucket of the mist and pours it on the turf in here and that makes it sticky like it would be in the mist room to make a murder appear like it's in the relaxation room but it's not actually in the relaxation room it's in this room okay <laughs> there's my theory there we go Ooh. oh what did you change your clothes Taruko why did you change your clothes yes I did so then there's a swing set and bars of some sort. And, um, spinny things. <laughs> Poor Taruko, dude. I feel like she had, like, no childhood whatsoever. She's like, what are these contraptions? And it's just like a barbell. Like a dumbbell or something. Same with here. She's like, what? What is this thing? What? Why would somebody put sand in a box? <laughs> Why are these seats attached by chains? Hum. Interesting. Spinny things. Granted, I can't remember the name of that either. But, you know, I, I did it. How do you bring mist? <laughs> I don't know, man. You just, you put it in a bucket, dude. <laughs> Maybe if you collect enough, like in a, little, a cup or something, it turns into water. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh, there is a seesaw in here. That's not what it's called, Taruko. What is it called, then? God, I cannot handle any more seesaws. I don't know either. By the way... And this is a spring ride. Mm. Oh, but this black and white bear seems familiar. Where have I seen this before? Could it be? Oh. Oh my god. OMG, that's a Mandakurma. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, now I remember where I've seen this before. History class. The fuck? Yay. Monokuma is my dad. Really? <laughs> nah, I'm a robot, dumbass. I Think. Mono TV has a black and white design too, like the Monokuma. It probably has a design like that to appear threatening. Did we talk about how this was like connected to the previous? I feel like that's a new thing. I don't remember that at all <laughs> in the previous ones. These kinds of black and white designs were really common during the tragedy. Okay, so this really is like in the future after the tragedy. Holy fuck. So much so that they became symbols of calamity. <laughs> Oh, wow. You know... Movie directors and artists utilize people's memories of the tragedy by using Monokuma-like iconography in their works. The tragedy was scary. So by referencing it, your work in book sphere. I feel like... Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Oh yeah, it was in Min's bonus episode. It was mentioned to that. I was like... I feel like it kind of seems familiar, but it just like... I wasn't coming back to me. It was mentioned in Men's bonus episode too. I feel like this is like pushing so hard. Like this is literally a TV show. It's like reminding me so much of the V3 ending, but it feels like it's a diversion. You know what I mean? I'm starting to think that this isn't even like a TV show. You know what I mean? Like, because this like fits so perfectly in a box already of like, it took place after the Danganronpa series, the canon series took place. And you know, they just decided to like reboot the Danganronpa, you know, TV show or whatever that they were doing before the real fiction stuff. It kind of, that's kind of what, well, I guess it's not technically real fiction because they do have memories of the tragedy and stuff. I don't think, yeah, they didn't like Saihara and them didn't have any memories of that, so. I don't know. I feel like it's like a diversion. There's got to be something else that's like really going on 
with this. I really don't even think they're on a TV show anymore. We'll see. I feel like it should be okay for me to talk about the canon games. Somebody's like, stop spoiling. I feel like if you're watching a fan gan, you've probably seen the canon games, right? Is that an okay assumption to make? But we'll see. Well, that's a massive oversimplification, but that's essentially how it works. That's always been kind of my rule with chat with these. It's like you can spoil the main games, but like you can't spoil fan gans since you don't know if people seen the fan games. But I feel like for people who are watching fan games probably play the real games. But that's essentially how it works. I shan't go into the fine details of semiotics right now. Eventually, the visual motif became divorced from an actual associations with the tragedy over time, and had simply become shorthand for something scary. Much like clowns, there is nothing intrinsically harmful about the black and white designs, but we're conditioned to be scared of them all the same. Even this current generation who was born long after the tragedy is accustomed to associating mono designs with fear. Isn't that just wonderful? She is so sketch. She's almost, she's too sketch to be the mastermind. But the fact she's like so into this lore, you know what I mean? It's fascinating, isn't it? How an event that happened nearly a century ago continues to influence media and popularity, popular perception today. Okay, nearly a century ago. There's nothing I love more than exploring the relationship between culture and horror media. That means mono TV is designed like this to scare us. Uh, probably, yes. And also, as a way to reference that past killing game, right? Huh? Huh, what are you talking about? If you mean a killing game like the one we're in, nothing like this has ever happened before, as far as I know, unless you're just referencing to the high murder rate during the tragedy. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, never mind. Never mind that. I must have gotten some things mixed up in my mind. I was never very good at history anyways. Imagine, like, your history book just being Danganronpa lore. I can't imagine that. Oh, you know, history, it's kind of boring. Ah, uh, Junko, the tragedy, bleh. <laughs> Danganronpa 53, uh, <laughs> lame. Educational tangent aside, what else is the note of this room? Why is this room so big? It's much bigger than any other room so far. Did you know? It's two floors high. If you sit in the movie screening room on floor one and started punching through the walls, it'd fall into the playground. Okay. Please don't do that, though. <laughs> don't get any ideas, Levi. This room has fan. Oh, this room has fans. There were fans like this in the gym too. You get all sweaty. Think about it. What do playgrounds and gyms have in common? They're both places where people move about. Right. They're both places where people get real sweaty. If we have fans in both places. It'd get really gross. Trust me. We did that, you know, in season uh, 82. And oh, God. <laughs> that was rough. Hum, despite its size, the playground has mostly empty space. There is very little of note in here. In that case, I suppose I'm finished with my exploration of this floor. I'll be heading back up. Okay, cool. I think we actually did explore everything. <laughs> Leaving so soon. Oh, don't you? Won't you stay and play, Teruko? No, don't you have better things to do? Plus, I'm pretty sure it'll open up my wounds. <laughs> oh, you're right. I should go bother Arturo instead and make him play with me. Uh, <laughs> I love that sprite. <laughs> the judging sprite. <laughs> I returned to the first floor and started heading back to my room. I think Veronica and Art were like pretty good friends, right? But a certain someone kept following me. Eden, maybe? <laughs> Please be my friend. Oh, no. Uh, what do you want? You've been following me around the whole time I was on the second floor. Oh no, I did that for everyone. I wanted to give a tour of the floor. This is standard procedure. I mean, you were the one who was like, mm, I'm the protagonist, so dumb to give you special attention. Okay. <laughs> what is up with that fucking Kanade smile you're doing right now? <laughs> um. Are you sure you're not following me? I love these no, animations. I'm just going in the same direction as you are. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> Just speeding up in the same direction as you are. Okay, no <laughs> matter what you say, you are definitely following me. <laughs> I'm not. You are literally chasing me. 
<laughs> Literally the eyes. <laughs> I always look like this. Come on! Seriously, what do you want to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It opened up her wound again. I can see the blood. Not that I have any reason to care about your health. But don't you think you should wait at least a few days after getting stabbed before you start sprinting through the halls? You did that on purpose. Oh man, poor Taruko. Oh. I'm li I literally just died. Okay, time to break out the smelling salts. <laughs> ah yes, get the smelling salts and the incense out. That'll that'll fix it. Wait, did he just fart? Break out the smelling salts. Oh, did you just fart on me? What the fuck? Ugh, what the? You're a special kind of awful, Mono TV. I'm choosing to believe that robots have souls. Solely that you can go to hell. Oh, soul solely. <laughs> okay, so the truth is, I actually was following you. I know, it's hard to believe. Yeah, I worked that out already. The thing is, <laughs> I need you to do a favor for me. Okay. A favor? Oh, cliffhanger! Oh, I'm so glad I'm watching these later. <laughs> get right, cliffhanger! You can't get me. I waited like months to watch this. Man, it was so hard not to. <laughs> I kept like being like, "Is it? Has it caught up yet?" So I can, so I can watch it. It's like still hasn't caught up. I just decided to go ahead and start streaming it. <laughs> I love that he was like, uh, "Smelling salt." <laughs> Freaking mono TV, dude. Okay, let's get into the next one. Okay, I got that already. Noise. Yeah, the Charles thumbnail looked nice. I love seeing uh, the thumbnails. I like the art for this game and the fact that these like the little animations too. It's really cute. I have a favor to ask you, Taruko. Huh? Huh? You were voted most popular character by the viewers. You're America's choice. It's really quite important. What is it? It's super duper incredibly important. Seriously, what is it? So, uber duper important. Okay, it's not important at all. I'm going to leave. No, no, come back. It is important. Building maintenance is super important. I need you to chalk the bathroom. The fuck? Uh, do I look like your janitor? Kalk. What is Kalk? On sinks, counters, and. Oh my god. A woogle. <laughs> Fucking woogle. We're scrouting Kalk. I never heard of that either. Oh, it's like the stuff that keeps it together, I guess. On sinks, bathtub, shower. You're America's favorite slay, Taruko. Also, I'm going to need you to fix up the bathroom. That's the prize for being America's favorite. On sinks, counters, bathtub, showers, and other fixtures near sources of water. They have crevices where they meet the wall, right? If moisture gets into these crevices, then it could cause deterioration or mold growth. In order to prevent that, we apply a waterproof sealant to the crevice called caulk. Why? Why does this affect me? Like painting a wall every now and then, you have to remove the old caulk and put down a new line. Gosh, Taruko, this is pretty basic home maintenance. You live here, don't you? Make an effort to keep this place in good working order. I, I already let you guys live here for free, so like, <laughs> you gotta work, girl. You gotta work. Thank you, Wits Bitter Coffee. Charles is looking girl boss in that thumbnail. He did look girl boss in that thumbnail. <laughs> oh man, he looks great. I like Charles a lot. Hopefully we get to see more of him. Oh wait, uh, oh Jay. <laughs> She's scribbled out the rest of her name. I was like, why is that scribbled out? That makes sense. Why should I help you? Life is so hard. This has nothing to do with helping me and everything to do with making this building habitable. Like I said, you live here now, right? You're the only one who wants to live here forever, too. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want for the plumbing to stop working or there to be mold growing everywhere. So help me, please! If that's important, why don't you ask someone else? Presumably someone who's in better health than I am. Did you just see me bleeding out? Well, you don't have any friends. <laughs> Not anymore, at least. <laughs> uh-huh. So you have a lot of free time. You're the only one who's friendless here. <laughs> oh, loser. That was harsh, but okay, fair enough. Look, I'll sweeten the deal a little bit. I can pay you every time you do chores for me. 
Oh, pay. What are you gonna pay me with? Mono coins? I have no need for money. Seeing as I don't plan on returning to the outside world. Mono TV coins? Not in money, silly! I'll pay you in mono credits! Not- oh, not actually trademark. You're free to use this. <laughs> You're free to use this phrase for your own purposes. Okay, so it's just like trademarked in the lore. I can't believe Team Despair Time didn't want to trademark mono credits. That'd be kind of funny to do it for the meme. Okay, fake money. Even more useless. I just said it wasn't money, stupid brains. It's a service that I'm offering you. I guess I might- I don't know if I really had like free time events in the last chapter. I can't uh, remember. I don't think it did. I feel like it was just story. I feel like the last chapter was kind of like pretty quickly paced. You know what I mean? If you have a mono credit, then anytime someone is bothering you and you want them to leave, I'll make them. I'll make them leave you alone. Oh, it's like the opposite. It's like the opposite of mono coins. Instead of hanging out with people, you can avoid them. Yay! Deal. I'll do it. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> Wow, you really suck at this. Your caulking job looks about as good as if I were to do it. And I don't even have any thumbs! Then why are you making me do it? I already told you, I wouldn't be any good. Oh, freedom of Vincent. So oh yeah, it was! God dang it, dude. My memory is so trash, y'all. <laughs> I think I literally watched those. I literally had a video about the free time of- <laughs> Oh man, guys, thinking's hard. Thinking's hard. That was a joke, you know, the things I say all the time with no rhyme or reason to them. I still can't do this myself. The thing is, this place was meant to be occupied and kept by humans, not robots. There are things I can do, like talking, talking, taking out the trash and sweeping the floors, but there are many things that I can't do. That's why from time to time, I need to call on you all to help me with these things. I kind of feel like Taruko and Mono TV are besties now. <laughs> this place is meant to be kept up by humans. What does that mean? These facilities weren't built with this killing game in mind. They were simply repurposed for our show. If I designed it myself, I would make everything automatic. But, alas. Hum, that's quite important information, isn't it? Are you sure you can really tell me that kind of thing? I don't see why not. <laughs> I like his little emojis. On his face. Um, sure. In that case, can you tell me more about this killing game? You know, you're the first person to ask me that. Since everyone here is apparently determined to fight against this killing game, I don't know why no one has ever tried asking me for information. Kind of rude, huh? Ah, but fair warning, there are some questions I cannot answer, and there are some things that I must lie about without any indication that I'm lying, lying. I like that face the best, though. <laughs> it's so cute. Well, that's why no one has ever asked you, because you aren't reliable at all. But I'm so cute. But still, it's worth a shot, then. Who orchestrated this killing game show, and for what purpose? Wow, starting off with the heavy questions. I thought you'd lead me in with something light first. Come on. Like why I painted the walls white or something. What do you want me to ask? What your favorite color is? It's blue. I know the answer to that! Blue! Same color as my screen. No, wait. <laughs> Yellow? To answer your first... Oh, wait. To answer your first question, though, the mastermind is... <laughs> I don't know! What you don't know? And nope! You seem to think that because I run this TV show, I must know everything about it, right? I can't tell if I think he's lying or not. I kind of feel like he's lying, but I also could see it being, like, an important thing where it's like... Oh, the mastermind programmed him to where he doesn't know who the mastermind is or something like that. You know what I mean? Thank you, Kylo, Taruko, X Mono TV. <laughs> is OTP or should I say OTV? Now I'm just thinking of offline TV. Oh, God. Cursed. Cursed. I hate it. <laughs> Thank you, Kylo, for the uh, donation. Appreciate you. But I'm not a real human director. I'm a robot built and programmed for the purpose of facilitating this killing game and nothing more. I just know the true mastermind is Samugi. I know you're here, girl. You survived somehow. Whoever created me saw fit to give me the only bare minimum information needed to run this TV show. I have no will of my own. That's why there's a lot of things that I don't know because it's not necessary for me to know them to make this killing game run. 
And a part of me feels like he's lying just because he's so like, um, whatchamacallit, um, I don't know, he just seems so advanced, like he's got like a personality and stuff, but you don't know. But you're only given the basic information to run the game. I guess it still makes sense, but, eh, whatever. Does a toaster know why it toasts? Does a calculator know why it adds and subtracts? They are simply machines that do their job without needing to understand why. You're kind of making me have like an ex existential crisis now, Taru Taruko. Thanks. To that end, I don't know who made this TV show and why. All I do is carry out the directives programmed into me. Oh, I see. Not only do you sometimes lie when asked questions, but you also don't know the answer to anything. <laughs> so you're useless. That was so mean. I'm not useless. Another question then. How do I end the killing game? <laughs> That's a spoiler. <laughs> I can answer that. Yep, totally useless. No, no wonder no one asks you questions. I'm not going to get anything good out of you, am I? <laughs> Bully. Daruko's mean. Okay, that should do it. Nice cock. Uh -huh. Excuse me? Oh, what the? Wait. Was that supposed to be, uh, was it supposed to sound like something else? Oh my god, what? <laughs> Excuse me? The blush, I haven't seen her blush. As promised, you now have two mana credits in your balance. Don't worry about the mess, I can clean it up. Now I can use it whenever Eden tries to hang out with you. Gross. By the way, you look a little different. Did you change your clothes? You weren't there for that. Shut up. Enough. Being asked that repeatedly is going to get on my nerves one day. Go make an announcement to everyone that I'm wearing a different shirt or whatever it takes to make people stop bothering me. <laughs> oh god, I can actually kind of see him doing that. Uh, good night, everybody. Also, Taruko got a new updated outfit. Oh, it's just pictures of her. Look at her serving. Look at her slang. Go tell her. Go tell her how lo good she looks. Okay, I'll make sure to inform everyone at the most inconvenient time possible for them. It's like if they're in the bathroom or in the shower or having bleep. Super jump into six. <laughs> Anyways, it's noon. Maybe think about getting lunch. Noon. Oh. Ah. Didn't Charles say he wanted to meet with me around this time? I wonder why. Should I even go? This feels awfully suspicious and think familiar. Of the audience. I say go, but only because if something bad happens, the viewers would love it. Oh my god, they loved when you almost got murdered. That's only making me not want to go. In the end, I decided to go anyways. <laughs> oh, man. Mono TV's so funny. Okay. Charles isn't even here yet. Oh, you know what would be sweet? I wonder if Charles has noticed that she's, like, feeling bad, so he's going to try to take care of her. That would be sweet. I guess he's, like, a chemist, though. I don't know if he really, like, would have super... Be super good at taking care of wounds. But that would be really... That'd be really sweet. Charles isn't even here yet. <laughs> Waiting is boring. Should I check out some of the books? This textbook looks awfully familiar. Where I, where have I seen this before? I flipped open to a random page and... Ah! Oh. Oh, she got a paper cut. I cut myself with the paper out. She really does have bad luck. This is why I never pick up things. Hey, is it normal for a paper cut to bleed this much? Hello, Taruko. Oh! What's your problem? What do you want? Oh, yeah, the blood. Yeah, he had, like, the thing where he got really, like, um, he got, like, really silent or, like, it kind of seemed like some kind of traumatic, res like, trauma response to seeing blood before. So, man, is he going to freeze up and not actually be able to talk to us anymore? That sucks. Oh, thank you, Leah. Guys, Taruko has a black shirt now. Ooh, she's so emo. That kind of does fit her personality better, honestly. <laughs> she is very, like, N everybody will betray me, you know? Nobody's really my friend. You can't look at blood, can you? Hide it. I put my hand behind my back. At least it's an easy fix. Okay. No, that's not it. Don't think that I'm the kind of person who loses this. He's cool every time he sees a drop of blood. I'm not that weak. I uh, refuse to... Bleh. <laughs> refuse to be. I'm fine. I'm fine. It was a blood phobia. But could that be caused by like an event too? Or like, is it just kind of something he naturally has? You can see it either way, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. 
Did you cut yourself? What are you doing? I don't care. It's only a paper cut. I often cut myself like this when I'm reading, if I'm not careful. It hurts, but it'll heal in a few days, so I don't care. Don't say that you don't care. I don't want to see you staining precious books with your blood. If you wear gloves, then you should be able to read safely without cutting yourself. I'll give you my spare gloves here. Pack off. Oh, oh my god. There's the knife. Holy shit. Back off. What? What? I said back off. Oh shit. You dare try and come near me. She is so Take paranoid. Your hands out of your coat. And put them where I can see them. I mean, I don't blame her. The last time somebody asked to meet her in a room, you know, just them two. She got attacked, but damn. You're being stupid. Do you really think I'm reaching for a weapon? I'm being stupid. I'm not the one who asked to hold a meeting in a private secluded area with no witnesses. For real. Did you forget what happened when Xander did the same thing? I got stabbed. I'm not taking any chances. Wit knows I'm here. That means the only witness is someone who's already tried to cover for you once before. Oh, yeah, your little boyfriend knows you're here? Yeah, right. I mean, I don't blame her, really. At the same time. Oh, thank you. Battle Objects on Broadway. Sega created a Danganronpa fan game. Sonic is dead. I did hear about that. My mods were telling me about it. I think, um, and I saw that Kev played it too. I looked a little bit just at Kev's VOD to kind of see what it looked like. It honestly did kind of look like a dog and romp a game a little bit. It was just very like visual novel, you know what I mean? I do want to try that out. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll do that as, as a stream, like a bonus stream next week or something. But, uh, thank you for the dono. Appreciate ya. That means the only witness is you, or someone that, the only witness is your boyfriend. As if I would try and murder you. You are being completely ridiculous. I mean, I can't blame her for being paranoid. I don't trust you. I don't trust anyone here. Take off your coat and show me you aren't hiding anything. You're annoying me. You are the one who is brandishing a knife at me. Fine. But I'll have you know you are being very unreasonable right now. Ah, there's a thumbnail. My hands are in the air Hi. and I'm making a fool of myself. Dressing down like I'm being searched by airport security. Are you happy now? He's got like a burn mark or something too. Okay, fine. But I'm not taking your gloves. Keep your distance. I guess it could be like a chemical burn. It's kind of what it looks like. <sighs> you really are paranoid now, aren't you? Ugh. <sighs> and quit acting like I'm endangering you somehow. You're the one who has been carrying around a concealed weapon this whole time. It's for self-defense. Self-defense, is it? Will you stab and kill anyone who you perceive to be threatening you? You know that carrying around a dangerous weapon will put you at risk as well, don't you? What if someone else uses that against you? That is true. You're asking an awful lot of questions, but at the same time, I don't blame her Are you for an doing idiot? that. Because I'm telling you not to carry around a knife, you dolt. I don't know, I would. <laughs> Especially after last chapter. I won't be taking your recommendation to go defenseless during a killing game. So you are as stubborn as ever, Taruko. It truly grates on my nerves sometimes. Do me a favor. At least do me a favor and keep it a secret. If people know that you carry a weapon, then it's very possible that some would-be killer will use that against you. I won't tell anyone either. And I'll try to make sure not to end up alone with you, lest you stab me. I do feel like Charles can has a soft spot Stop for her. Stop complaining. I don't intend to try and murder you, just so you know. Like I said, this is only for self-defense. I have the least motivation out of anybody here to commit a murder. Of course. Oh, sure, let me believe that because you said so. Oh, <laughs> he's so sassy too. I already said that I don't want to leave this place. If I successfully committed a murder, I would be forced to leave. And then I would have to go back to my regular life of constantly moving, constantly running, and never being certain of what will happen next. I don't want to live like that anymore. I'd much rather stay here. Yeah. How concerning. Constantly running. What kind of life do you live? I... I always end up in one accident after another. Since I had such bad luck. And because of that, I... I do feel bad for Ruturuka, man. She's just like constantly living in fear. I am in a lot of debt. Medical debts from spending countless nights at the hospital after something happens. Even if I don't want to go, I usually get taken to the ER against my will. God. 
I hate hospitals. Why save my life if you're just going to ruin it afterwards? I feel you, girl. That's quite unbelievable, to be honest. Attending school, too, was difficult when I had nothing to my name. Because I lacked ID, I had to infiltrate various big schools that didn't care enough about keeping track of their individual students. Steal uniforms, sneak in, pretend to be a student. Jesus Christ. But if I stand out too much and they realize that I'm not actually a registered student, then I get in trouble and have to run away again. I usually end up doing this multiple times a year. Jesus. The trauma. Do you understand the kind of life I live is unstable and not very enjoyable? Uh, I'd really like to stay here because a nonsensical, as nonsensical as it sounds, it's the closest thing I can get to living a normal life. And that means not committing murder. What? Enough beating around the bush already. Why'd you call me here? Don't tell me it's because you want to lecture me on this and that. What a pain. All right, I would have gotten to it earlier, but someone derailed me the cover. <laughs> someone derailed the conversation by pulling out a knife. <laughs> Wonder who that was. I'm going to give you something, okay? I'm going to leave it on the desk, and you can pick it up on your way out rather than me handing it to you. Don't threaten me again. To Taruko. Interesting. Calm down. Toast on a bagel. Dealing with you is like dealing with a frightened raccoon. <laughs> Toast on a bagel. What is this? It's my motive. Oh, it's her secret, I guess? More specifically, it's someone else's secret, which I received as my motive. I'm giving it to you. That's nice. Why? How concerning. As much as I don't want to, I must acknowledge that should another murder occur, I will probably become similar, similarly inca incapacitated as I was yesterday. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I guess it might not be hers then. But, eh, it does seem like he trusts me, you know, more than everybody else. <laughs> oh, thank you. Why bye, my dudes? Thanks for being a member for seven months. Did I miss the part where Turuko did the whip and nay nay? Oh, yeah, you missed that. It was epic. She just... <laughs> Started doing a bunch of TikTok dances too. It was really, really, you know, it kind of derailed the chapter a little bit for me. It kind of took me out of the experience, but then I kind of figured out how it was commentating, like on the political state of the world, you know, her doing the nene. And I was like, wow, this is really deep. Only, only the spare time could have this, have this commentary. <laughs> Thanks for being a member. Appreciate you. <laughs> Sorry for me, Mananya. But that's the truth of the matter, and I cannot turn away from it. It would be foolish of me to ignore my own glaring weaknesses. In such a situation, I'm sure these motives will be important. That's why I'm giving mine to you. If a murder happens, and I cannot participate in the trial, then I'll allow you to reveal this motive to everyone. It very well could turn out to be an important piece of evidence. Kind of interesting um, to see how helpful he is during a trial when somebody gets like poisoned or something where like, I don't know, there's no blood. Why are you giving this to me of all people? But I guess it, I get, it could be her, uh, it could be her motive, it could be somebody else's. I guess we'll see. It probably is most likely hers. We'll see. I've determined that this is the best course of action to take and you are the most suited person for this job. I have heard that you were instrumental in solving the previous murder case, and I know that you have proven to be quite the pragmatic person. I see. Hum, guess it explains why you aren't giving this to Wit. Oh hey. yeah, that would make sense. Right, Wit. He used to be a major annoyance to me. Oh my god, are you blushing? No. Oh my goodness, that's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, do you love him? He used to be a major annoyance to me, but now I realize that I'm in love. Okay, I don't really want to hear all about your love story, but I realize he's more than that. Under the surface, he's an empathetic person. Someone who's kind enough to go out of his way for others. Oh my god, this is so cute. Which means that he's inclined to keep other secrets. Um, <clears throat> because my throat. Um, yes, I was not blushing there. That would be that would be lame of me. He's not the kind of person who I can rely on to sacrifice one person's privacy for the greater good. I guess I kind of see what he's saying. He's in love. Figures. I take his motive. Don't open it. Seriously. Don't open it. That's the opposite of what you've been telling me so far. Are you stupid? I said to open it if a murder happened, idiot! Does this look like the trial room to you? 
In the best case scenario, there won't be any more motives, and you can forget all about this conversation. However, neither of us are naively optimistic enough to put our faith in that scenario. Alright, I hope you're sure you're not making a mistake by leaving this in my hands. Man, we're not gonna find out yet. I pocketed the motive. Then that's all you needed with me. I'll be leaving now. We already know, yeah, Jay's was revealed to be the one that RTO got. Then mine was to be... Mine was Rose's, right? I think that's the only two we know so far. Uh, we can't really narrow it down too much. Tara, I'll be leaving now. Don't take this the wrong ah. way. But I enjoyed talking to you. <laughs> Cute. I, I said don't take it the wrong way. <laughs> I love I Charles. Say anything yet? <laughs> soon, soon. He's such a soon to Ray. It's not because you're an enjoyable person to be around or an intellectual equal or anything. After Sanders' death and after that trial, to be honest, I don't remember much. It's all a haze in bits and pieces. Ah, so that's why you still like me. <laughs> I was a pretty big bitch after the trial. It was terrible. I want to move on, but now everyone only looks at me with pity in their eyes. Because I couldn't process a dead body. Now everybody thinks I'm weak. Ah, uh, he's so cute. I hate it. A constant reminder that I've become someone to look down upon. I need a trio with him, Taruko, and Wit. That's what I need in my life. They're all so cute. But you aren't like that. If anything, you become ruder than ever. I like that. And you haven't once shown me a shred of pity for what I've gone through. Nothing much has changed between us. We continue to treat each other with unmarked aggression and make snide comments towards each other. And to me, that's much more satisfying than being pitied. I feel that. I hate being pitied too, honestly. You've changed a lot, haven't you? You've given more thought to other people right now than you have in the past four days. And you've changed too, mostly for the worse. No. Excuse me. I'm in like a friendship trio. <laughs> it's like, see somebody saying that. A friendship trio, that's what I meant, okay? <laughs> Deciding you trust no one, acting on your own. You know, like, you have, like, Chiaki, Hajime, and, like, Kamina. They were, like, such a cute little trio. I love them. You were quite like how I was before Xander's death. I understand perfectly well what it's like to be in your place, but you won't be able to keep up that solid solarity act forever. Sooner or later, you'll come out of your shell again. What, so I can learn to love again? <laughs> I didn't take you to be such a sappy fool. Is it like a song Calm or down. something? What? No. I mean to say, you'll get bored if you're alone for more than a few days. Think about it. There is very little to do here by yourself. By the third day of isolating myself, I was starting to become tired of the mono monotony. The <laughs> tired of the monogamy. <laughs> That's what I almost said. I started wanting to talk to other people for reasons. Other than to give myself something to do. Shut up. Whatever. Don't try and isolate yourself. Why do you care? Listen to me. It's a simple... It's simply an illogical thing to do. Think about it. Especially in a killing game. I used to think that the best way to keep myself safe was to avoid people. But now I can see that the best way to get through this killing game is by working with others. I'm not telling you this for sentimental purposes, but because it's the pragmatic thing to do. Friendships, wit taught me a new way. Thank you, Fallen Redditor. Charles, my bye bestie. He's my fave, honestly. I can't tell if I ship him with Taruka or wit. I feel like I ship him more with wit. I feel like, I don't know, I just think they're so cute, you know what I mean? But thank you, thank you for the donation. Not the people in chat. We know you're, ti you're tired of monogamy, Charles. Just all this talk with the chat is getting me, uh, getting me, uh, confused with my words. Oh, man. Being alone all the time simply makes you more vulnerable. You aren't the only person Xander used for his own purposes. Stop trying to talk about this. I took your motive, or right? I'm leaving now. Um... Disappoint. I'm not done with you yet. Get back here, missy. There's something you said. This cutscene is not over yet. Something you said on the day we met that continues to bother me. Okay. You disparaged me for being apathetic towards the potential deaths of my friends. But now that people have actually died, it seems like I care more than you. Her roasted. It was a gut feeling. Now leave me alone. First of all... Don't you think that's hypocritical of you? Why don't you act on your own words? 
Charles, take a hint. I don't want to talk about this. Stop bothering me. All right, I have those mono credits now. Oh my god, no, is she gonna use it? Aha, uh -huh, mono TV, make Charles leave me alone. <laughs> okay. What? What? Yeah. Oh god. Uh. I wasn't expecting mono TV to do that. <laughs> Bing bong, ding dong. You know, technically this was your murder since you called me. <laughs> um, if it works, it works, I guess. Sorry for the broken leg. While Charles was dealing with mono TV, I escaped back to my room. I hold myself up, sleeping and recovering, letting an entire day pass by. I tried my best to avoid contact with other people. However, in the end, my determination to remain alone ended up weakening because... What the? Okay, I think I've officially gotten very bored of making the cacti fight. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, this is why I stand. She's a badass, but she's also adorable. Is that, does that cactus have an ahoge? <laughs> what the hell? Did you really think you could surprise me with a knife? I came prepared. I knew that you would try to backstab me after all. That's right. <laughs> Give up now and surrender. Then I'll consider <laughs> what the I fuck changed my mind. Oh my god. I promise I will turn my back on whoever made me do this and stay by your side. No, not the Xander Cactus! You gotta be kidding. I was like trying to pay attention. I was like, is she doing a British accent right now? I'm fucking dead. I'm so sorry. God save the queen and all that jazz. I should not have stabbed you. Oh my god. Charles is like, I knew this would happen. At the eye patch too. I'm dead. My hand. Oh my god. Charles like knocks at the door. This is exactly what happened to me in the last chapter. I started losing my fucking mind. Ouch, I pricked myself on the cactus again. <sighs> Ugh, what am I doing? This is incredibly childish. Am I really the star for social interaction? <laughs> Jesus. As much as I hate to say it, Charles was right. I can't stay by myself forever. I got so bored that I tried to find ways to entertain myself and I ended up making... Playing make-believe. Okay, wait, I gotta go back to this plot. This... I gotta analyze this plot. <laughs> oh my god, okay, so... Literally, yes, yeah, so she's... <laughs> she gave herself an O, okay, too. How'd you even make that, girl? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Is she shipping herself with Xander right now? That's kind of what I'm seeing. <laughs> oh, she, she kept the eye patch on it, too. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, man, who are we going to make this cacti? Nico, maybe, since Nico's kind of small. As much as I hate to say it, Charles is correct. <laughs> I'm dead. That was so funny. All right, I'm heading out. I'll just sit in the cafeteria and watch other people talk. That's all I'll do. I won't get involved or anything. <laughs> I won't. I won't talk to people. No social interaction. <laughs> I've been waiting. Should probably get some breakfast. And oh my god! <laughs> Boo. Good morning, Taruko. You finally left your room after a whole day of being a shut-in. Oh my god, I was listening in on that cacti play that you did. <laughs> Whoa, that was wild, girly. That was wild. I didn't know you had such a big crush on Xander. Let's go eat have breakfast fun. together. I have a fun activity planned, too. You'll definitely enjoy it. It'll really lift your mood to do something fun with friends, all right? What? No, I... What? No, I'm not going to join in on whatever thing you want to do. No bonding. You were expecting me to exit my room just now? I've been waiting 24 hours, man. You kept me entertained, though, with those little cacti plays. You know, Taruko, these walls are... Oh, my God, no! She really could! You know, Taruko, those walls aren't exactly soundproof. I can hear you in there. That's way more embarrassing than the secret mono TV game. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I got blackmail on you now. Wait, that means... Oh, Oh my god. If you don't join me today, I'm telling everyone that you play with cacti. The third cactus should be men. I could see that. I could see that honestly being the case. She's reliving all of her regrets from the previous, the previous chapter. 
Oh, and thank you, Iden Milo. This is the best scene, and that is all. Appreciate you for being a part of the Kenjo cult. And thank you to... Let me... Oh, and thank you to Zane about for the uh, donation, too, as well. Let me make sure that uh, I read everything. Oh, and thank you, Fallen Redditor. Charles, my bi bestie. He's my fave, honestly. He does give very strong bi energy. I love it. I stan. I can't remember if I replied to that one yet. I don't think I did. Oh, my God. <laughs> You aren't above blackmail, huh? I thought you were the nice character. I didn't want to use this against you, but I figured you would be really resistant to socializing. It's not good for you to be all alone, especially during a situation like this. That's why I need to be a little pushy when it comes to you. This is all part of my grand plan, see? My Kaikaku. If I can make everyone happy, then that means that no one has any need to murder. And we're that much closer to ending this killing game. And don't you want that too? Why do I kind of feel like Eden's gonna die? I don't know. She's so, like, sweet. She's, like, the one, like, ray of sunshine, I feel like, in this fangan right now. I feel like if she went, it'd be bad. It'd be really bad. We'll see. I just want to help, even if that means resorting to cheap tactics. <laughs> now, come and eat breakfast with me. Yeah. I've seriously underestimated you. The first thing I did was to examine the knife rack. It looked like they were all there. Uh, are you checking the knives? I understand why you do that. Most people do these days. Everyone's wary. Yeah. It feels like a pointless thing to do because there are so many lethal weapons everywhere, so even if all the knives are there, it means nothing. But still, I can't help myself. I like this song. Is this original? I don't think this was in any of the other Danganronpa games. Anyways, what do you want to eat, Taruko? Today, Nico and Veronica made breakfast. Don't bother, I made my own food from now on. Alright, you aren't the only person who does that too. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> sad, Eden. So, um, I've been spending a lot of time investigating around, looking for a potential exit. That's great for you. Good luck. <laughs> What's that, like, a response that people say? Sorry that happened, or good for you. I'm not, I'm not gonna pay attention to all that. Jeez, you're not much for conversation these days, are you? You know, being in this kitchen, it reminds me of that time that you, I, Rose, and men... We're baking together. You remember that, right? Aww, sad. Um, of course I remember. My one happy memory in life. We had a ton of fun back then. Baking, decorating, and chatting. I could tell every I could tell everybody really enjoyed it. But then when you dropped that cake and men had to clean up the mess. Uh yeah, God, I kinda of forgot about that part. Yikes. I hope she doesn't blame herself too much for that. Poor Eden. Because of that, she ended up having to kill Xander. Yeah, I was like, having? I was like, eh, yeah. I get, I get why she would word it like that. Even if that never happened and our baking session went perfectly, then in the end, it only means that no one would have stopped Sam Xander. Yeah. How cruel. Life is really cruel, Taruko. I'm not so blindly optimistic as to ignore that. I'm not as Delulu as everybody thinks I am. But why are we put in this terrible killing game where even something fun and happy becomes a reason to kill? Why is it that the only time I saw Min smiling, she was unwittingly causing her own death? I want everyone here to be friends. I'm trying my best to keep everyone's spirits up, but even then, I all eat it. Hug her. Hug her, Taruko. Hug her, damn it. I can tell you're trying to open up to me, but I won't let you. Sorry. Damn. You're right. Life is cruel. That's exactly why we should stop trying to bond with each other. That way it hurts less when people die. Damn. That's like, um, I feel like I talked about this with, like, my therapist. <laughs> it's like, um, I feel like there's, like, a, a word for that. Like, the, I'm not gonna allow myself to be happy, therefore to avoid something else. Like... Just, I don't know, I guess it's like general negative thinking, but don't do that, Taruko. Me and my therapist are working hard on this. Thank you, Jeff. Eden, this reminds me of that time you dropped the cake. It was all your fault. Taruko, you shouldn't have dropped that cake. 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 Why? Why can't I speak? That cake, clearly a skill issue. 
<laughs> skilling game. It's giving skilling game. Thank you, Jeff, for the donation. You most of all, Eden. She's like, no, I was not trying to bond with you. I was trying to tell you how much you suck. You most of all, Eden. You're the last person I want to be friends with. Oh, damn. Uh, why? But I'm so cute. Because. Because you're too kind to me. Yeah, self-sabotage. That could be kind of a good word for it. I've noticed all this time. All, all this time time. When I've been blaming others for turning against me and you've never once brought up the fact that you've stayed by my side the whole time. Anyone else in your place would have brought it up already. To the to point to the fact that I'm wrong and to get me to side with them, but you don't. You're too nice, damn it! Terrico, Terrico, relationships aren't transactional. Oh, you're so you're so healthy, Eden. Oh my gosh. It's not that I did something good for you that you should do something good for me. Oh my god. Emotionally healthy queen. I want you to be my friend, but not because I'm a nice person you feel obligated to. You're caring, selfless, and worst of all, hopelessly naive. When that optimistic worldview of yours gets shattered by the harsh reality of this killing... I almost <laughs> I was so close to saying skilling. Killing game! I don't want to have an emotional stake in it. Oh, man. Or when you die. Sooner or later, that kindness of yours will have you breaking down until you're too overwhelmed with grief to be able to act. That's not how I plan to live. I'll join in on whatever activity you have planned today, but I'm only humoring you. We're not going to become friends. I won't let that happen. Oh, gosh. I feel like this is such a death flag for Eden. I don't know. I can see, like, her and Eden hanging out, and she's like, I'm not gonna be friends with you. I'm not gonna care about you, Eden. And then Eden dies, and she's like, damn it, I cared about you, Eden. I can see that happening. I'll never trust or rely on anybody else ever again. Oh my god, I'm getting so many death flags. Wrong, Terrico. Huh? Wrong about what? There's nothing naive about being optimistic. I'm not nice because I'm dumb or because I don't know better. I choose to be this way. Even if this world is cold and cruel, I'll still make the choice to be kind. She is so healthy, dude. Oh my god. You are my new inspiration, Eden. It's only human to feel grief. It's only human to rely on others. I truly believe that it's how we'll get through this killing game. God, it's like, is she the ultimate therapist? They're expressing grief and then relying on one another. I feel like I'm in therapy right now. So I'll prove you wrong. Kindness isn't weakness. Not caring about others is the worst way to... Not caring about others is the worst way to live. One day I'll make you understand that. Oh, you're so dead, Eden. You're so dead. <laughs> oh, God. I just really don't. I feel... I got... I got bad. I got a bad premonition. <laughs> uh, she just... Ah! Uh, she's so lovable. I'm like, damn it. The game is making me like her. Why well, we haven't seen David at all this stream? Now that I think about it. Not... David, not my friend David in the chat, but like uh, the character David. Man, we haven't seen, is he like the only character we really haven't talked to this stream? Or hasn't gotten like a shining moment yet? Thank you, Brian. Eden reminds me a lot of Makoto. I could see that. She's so like, she's so positive and sweet. I love her. I don't like the fact that I'm loving her though, because that means she might die. Until then, you can call me naive and hopeless all you want. Got it? Um... Somehow hearing her words made my chest hurt. Damn it, right in the feels! It's just my injury acting up again. Nothing else! Then... You shut your mouth for more than a minute? I'm sick of hearing you talk! Ooh, drama. No way! Oh no, they're fighting again, Taruka! We should go do something about this! Is she fighting with art, maybe? Wait, my sandwich. Um... Okay, curiosity's winning out. Let's see what the commotion is all about. I need to find out the tea. Here we go. Jura oh no, another cliffhanger, damn it! <laughs> I feel like it might be Arya and her fighting. Either that or Art, because they were already kind of having like a little bit of beef, you know what I mean? Okay, we'll probably watch one more episode. Did I put this on? What was Arya doing in the thumbnail now that I think about it? It's like tying something. She killing mono TV. This isn't good. Everyone's fighting again. Damn it. I leave you guys alone for two seconds and you're already at each other's throats. Why? What is there even a fight over? Oh, oh my God. Oh, 
fangirling. How many times do I have to tell you? It's like you don't hear a single thing I say. I'll let you go in the sandwich Leave with the sandwich the in the back. Alone and quit following me around. <laughs> oh, this isn't this isn't as polite of interesting tea as I was hoping for. Damn it. Of course. If that is what you desire, Ms. Rosales. <laughs> Oh my god. Ugh, you always act like you want to please me, but you never actually leave me alone. <laughs> there we go. With a sandwich just lodged in her mouth. What's the matter? Are you gonna run away again? You really need to grow a goddamn backbone. Ah, uh, Ace. I I'm sorry, but I really don't know what I did to make you mad. <laughs> Poor Nico. You don't know. You don't know, huh? Pathetic piece of shit. Damn, Ace. Aw, <laughs> oh, poor Nico. Oh, that, that's what she was doing. I put it in the trash. It means I won it in the trash. Is that so hard to understand, you filthy piece of garbage? <laughs> was Let's spend a lot of money on that. Oh, I can't let you throw it out. <laughs> what did she throw away? Ugh, you're so damn annoying and stupid. And unlikable in every aspect. So everybody's fighting. That's it's the great. answer. <laughs> my, everybody's in their jetting today. Life. Does this always happen? Everyone argues with each other? What a pain. Yes, every time we have a group meal, this happens. It gets on my freaking nerves. No, it doesn't. Stop exaggerating. Charles, believe me. It's not all fighting. Sometimes things are calm. Sometimes people like each other. <laughs> oh, man. You're the only one who's exaggerating. This has been going on for days. Wait, can't you do something about this? Huh, me? You got a totally wrong idea of what matchmaking is. I'm not a relationship counselor. I have no business resolving fights of any kind. Don't waste my time. Of course, Wit's not fighting unproblematic king. Time. I don't even say anything about matchmaking. Don't come up with excuses for yourself. Um. I <laughs> bet. Ugh, fine. Eden, Veronica, Taruko, go break them up! Wait just a second. Why me? Given everything you've learned about me and my personality in the past few days, what makes you think I'm good at conflict resolution? Hey! Taruko, don't say that! Helping out is your duty as a classmate and friend to everyone here! Also, if you don't help, then I'm totally telling everyone about the cactus thing! Oh, oh, oh What cactus thing? Sipsty? <laughs> Back at it with the blackmail. You sure are persistent. Damn. I told you it wasn't really that nice. Cact. Oh, he's got the notes up. Cactus thing. Interesting. I have no clue what she's talking about. Whatever it is, you certainly deserve it, Taruko. Oh man. <laughs> I love the art for this. Oh my god. Aria. I always want to call her Ariel. <laughs> Right, right there. I'm dead. Um, um, what's the problem over here? Screw you. What's the problem? Are you blind? You should know damn well what the problem is. This jerk's been following me for days, and even when I ask him to leave me alone, such a freaking fanboy. You say he's a jerk, but you've been acting jerkishly as well to everyone else ever since that motive announcement. Ms. Rosales. Oh, God. Can I please? Can I please just sniff your hair just once? Maybe then your mother will wash onto me or something. I don't know. Shut up. Rub off on me. That's what I was trying to say. Don't call me that. Julia. Julia. Oh, he cannot let it go. Julia. I don't. Re I really don't want to upset you. I simply don't understand why you try so hard to throw away your birthright. It's a gift that most people would be so lucky Beautiful. to have. Your fame. Talent, money, and natural beauty, and you choose to dress like that. Oh, disgusting. All gifted to you by your parents. I merely wished for you to appreciate We're those in the gifts. Of a goddamn hey. killing game here. People died. Can you look beyond your own fucking nose and see that there's more important things out there than lusting after my mom like a freaking weirdo? Okay, okay. But to be fair, she is mother. Thank <laughs> you know, I can't really blame him. You know, I'd be acting crazy too. I'd be acting crazy too for, for that woman. Like, let's let's be fair. Have you seen how hot your mom is, Jay? See, it's crass <laughs> behavior like this that I really don't understand. You had all the influence of Maria Bella as a parent. So why have you become so boyish and rude? No worries. 
I'll do my best to transform you into a proper lady befitting of your family name. I didn't ask you to do that, and I don't want you to! Jesus. Please, calm down! Okay, stop yelling! This won't solve anything! You want to solve this? Then tell him to cut it out. He does need to back off, though. I was kidding. Like... I do get why he's simping for Jay's mom. <laughs> I won't lie. I think we all understand why. But he does need to back off. Like, she obviously doesn't want it. I feel like Art, too, oh, he's just, like, he's just kind of weird, man. Like, he's very set in his ways. And, like, I don't know. He can't, like, he's not, oh, I'm trying to, like, what's a good word? Very unsympathetic. Very, like, I don't know. Yeah, he's just, like, set in his ways and he won't. Even entertain the fact that, like, somebody else's ways is, like, you know, better or, you know, better for them, in a way. Um, r quit bothering Jay. Can't you see you're making her kind of, uh, kind of uncomfortable? Kind of! Beneath. Ugh, it's you. Have you been listening on my private conversation with Miss Rosales? I don't speak to commoners like you. Buzz off! The only person here worthy of my attention is Miss Rosales. Hey. You're kind of screaming your conversation, to be fair. Well, hey, that's rude, Jay. Tell him to cut it out. <laughs> now they're Seriously? fighting. What is this your idea of sp stopping a fight? You suck at this. You know, it's really irritating that a guy like you pretends to be easily scared but says whatever he wants. What do you want from me? Uh, was it about that thing I said to you? I didn't know it would affect you this much. I kind of feel like Nico just said something hey, hey, like hey. accidentally rude. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Oh, what thing did you say? Tell me, I'm curious. What the fuck? Hey, what the fuck? What are you doing here? Chara sent me over here to put a stop to your arguing. Why are you two fighting? Asshole! Because this piece of shit is so to me, I won't even have the girl to admit that he did, much less apologize. I... I didn't know you would find it in insulting. You... Either you're brain dead to think of that, or you think I must be brain dead to be able to believe that. Can you repeat word for word what you said to me earlier? And don't give me that I don't know bullshit. Um. Uh, um. Is Nico the same age as everybody else? I can't really tell. Was it after I spilled water on you and you yelled at me? That part? Go on, make sure Veronica hears it nice and clear. Let her dra draw her own conclusions. Oh. If you keep yelling all the time, you don't use your head, people are going to keep thinking. <laughs> okay, but like, Nuka did not lie. Not lie at all. I'm sorry that the truth hurts. I'm sorry that it hurts, Ace. <laughs> people keep thinking you're dumb. Oh, fuck. You. Isn't that true, though? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Thinking that you're Isn't dumb. It's true though. It's oh, true though. Fuck you. <laughs> I love I them. Everyone here, you're probably oh the least God. helpful at the trial. You're too emotional and you never think about anything in depth at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's exactly, that's what, exactly I... what I. Meant. I uh, was only pointing out the truth. <laughs> I thought you would take it like, like constructive criticism or something. I mean, like everybody knows you're the worst boy, Ace. Like, come on, you want me to lie to you? <laughs> Oh, I get it. I'm dead. You all think I'm damaged in the head. I got that. But more than that, Levi, Terrico, Nico, Veronica, and everyone else, you all think you can say whatever the fuck you want to my face, right? I'm stupid, irritating, a good for nothing, and a spineless coward. Is that really what everyone thinks about me? And it's fine that you drill it into my head over and over again? Because you think I'll forget about it in five minutes like you do? <laughs> You're so funny! So fucking funny! Did anyone ever tell you that? I love that delivery, man. That was so good. I feel like Ace is probably bullied a lot. Maybe that kind of contributed to his um, unfavorable personality. <laughs> you think I act like this for fun and then I go to bed and sleep soundly at night? You dumb piece of shit. Definitely does seem kind of like some sort of protection for himself, you know what I mean? 
definitely does feel like, I don't know, he's got some kind of bullying story or something. Ooh. You've changed so much from when we first met. Did that murder really shock you so hard? Rather than just being that pathetic coward with no backbone, you'll become a veritable bully. The fear of death really changes people. Excuse me. Interesting. You're not really fighting with Nico because you care about what he says. After all, it's not like you ever valued his opinion in the first place. <laughs> after everything that happened, after watching two people die in front of your eyes, you're totally afraid you're going to be next, right? You know what? I totally get why Levi is so keen on trying to kill me. Being around others is starting to make me want to bash their brains out too. Maybe I'll start with you too. Oh, Essie, that's a dangerous move. Why is she excited? <laughs> Why is she excited about this? Any would be murderers in here with probably any would be murderers in here will probably avoid killing the people they like, given the choice. You know what that means for hostile rude people like you, right? That's horrible. Uh, Ronica, you gotta freaking me out now. <laughs> this conflict resolution is not going very well. Oh man, thank you, Finastro, Veronica. Trying not to psychoanalyze someone for one second challenge. Difficulty impossible. Gamer sweating. Also, I do that too. I'm like, what kind of trauma did? Ace experience that made him like this. Veronica, are you making a death threat right now? Oh, not at all. I'm simply using the fear of violence to incentivize good behavior. Aww. In my line of work, that would be called animal cruelty. <laughs> no, no, no. It's perfectly fine when you do it for humans. Then, do you have a better way to resolve this argument? <laughs> no. <laughs> I love that sprite. What's going on? <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Stupid. I was trying to throw this out, but Mono TV, TV won't let me. That's like a rope? A rope. Screw you! Seriously, that's some high level quality stuff. I can't let you waste my already small budget. You know, Dog and Rob is just not as popular as it used to be, okay? Not to mention, if you throw that out, then it's totally bad for the environment. People like you throw everything out or wire oceans are being cluttered with trash. I love that that's what you're high standing on mono TV. I understand. They, I mean, I, you know, force people to kill each other for a living, but think about the sea turtles. Oh, that must be your custom weapon. I remember now. You know, it's been bothering me. Everyone else's custom weapons seems to have something to do with their talent. Charles has poison. Veronica has horror things. Why do you have a rope exactly? Who cares? I say you have a knife, which makes no sense to me. Care to explain that? It's not like I got to choose. I'm just asking what ropes have to do with bowling. Yeah, for real. All oh, right, I forgot you were the the one who knew jack shit about bowling. Your lack of knowledge on the <laughs> the best sport of all time is an utter disgrace. I'm sorry, but bowling is such an old people's sport. Like, if I think of, like, ultimate bowler, I just think of, like, a 50-year-old man. Like, honestly. <laughs> honestly. Thank you, Gabe XD. <laughs> Why is Nico kind of uh, no homo? I don't know. Nico looks so young. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, not not for me personally. <laughs> I think I think Nico's adorable, though. just want to pinch his little cheeks. Thank you for the dono. Appreciate ya. Yeah, we still haven't seen David. Where the hell is David right now? Alright, I forgot. And if you weren't so utterly stupid, you know the answer is absolutely nothing. There's no ropes involved in bowling. Oh, that's weird. Ugh, this is the worst. You seriously can think of something bowling-related, Mono TV? It wasn't my it wasn't my choice, you know. I actually don't know who picked out these weapons. Besides a bowling ball, it'd probably be too heavy anyways. Dumbass. Oh wow, you're even dumber than Taruko. You think I can't pick up a bowling ball? And me, the world, absolute best at bowling. You know when we got the secrets, I was like I was like, okay, I know this is like isn't this isn't um this is totally not gonna be what happens at all, but I thought it'd be hilarious if like Arie's secret is that she's actually like a 70 year old man. She just like takes off her mask. She's like an old dude. <laughs> I was like, I knew young people don't bowl. <laughs> but you're even dumber than Taruko. I mean, I guess young people do bowl, but you know, you do it for like recreation, not like pro bowling. I feel like that's like a old people sport. 
Why are you even dumber than Taruka? You think I can't pick up a bowling ball? Me, the world's absolute best at bowling. I'm in a shipping cost. <laughs> I know exactly what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me feel bad by singling me out. Oh, trigger warning coming up for super slide mention. Just want to warn chat and to be safe because YouTube has been cracking down on the spare times vids. Ah, dang. Thank you, Brie, for letting me know that. I'll be sure to, uh, yeah, kind of let everybody else know um, about that as well, which I just did because I was reading it out loud. I know exactly what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me feel bad by singling me out. Why don't you wrap it up pretty and give me a birthday card too while you're at it with this horrible prank of yours. A birthday card. When I was in middle school, people would send me boxes with a bunch of... Oh my god! That's so horrible! Holy fuck! Did he do that on purpose? It seems like Mono TV knows a lot of things about these people. Man, y'all covering up the light on the TV for wit and then sending her ropes? That's fucked up. She have a rope on my birthday and telling me to go unalive myself all the time. You're totally doing the same thing. Damn. That is messed up. I feel like that's on purpose too, you know? As if I need a reminder of that. I don't want this stupid rope anymore near me. I'm throwing it out whether you like it or not. Maybe one of us could take it away. That's so fucked up. If you don't want it, then I'm putting it in storage. I can't let you throw it out. It'd be such a waste. It was like $5 from the Home Depot. You really expect me to throw that out? And thank you, Gabe XD. I'm Nico's number one fan. Let's just say Ace isn't going to make it to chapter three. That's not a spoiler, right? <laughs> I was like, it didn't get deleted, so... I think it was posted a while ago, right? I think it's okay. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you're just memeing, right? Because, uh, uh, you know, you don't like Ace because you're a Nico stan. I think, I think that makes sense. If you don't want it this, then I'm putting it in storage. You can't let you throw it out. Be such a waste. Hump, whatever. Get out of my sight. Understood. Aw, uh, poor RA. Poor RA. Hey, just so you know, failed... Hanging attempts are pretty painful. Uh. Didn't ask, asshole! Anyway. Well, looks like that argument resolved itself, and I barely said anything, thankfully. If this fight cleared up on its own, then I'm sure that the other two have already finished. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, uh, Art's face! <laughs> the <my> smiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not my problem. Good morning, everyone! Hey, David! I've been looking for you. Sorry I'm late. I hope you're all well. Oh, dear. Why did I... Why did I assume you guys would be well? I tried my best, but they won't stop fighting! What a pain. Toth is an utter disaster! What is everyone fighting? Oh, what is... What is everyone fighting or your cu cucumber flowers? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's kind of epic. This seems like it'd be kind of hard. It's art, okay? The whole time you were making other people break up arguments for you. You were carving vegetables into pretty shapes. That it's important! Shut up! I'm not taking this from you of all people. You make fun of me when I can't cook, and you make fun of me when I can. There's really no winning with you, Taruko! Up oh, the blush. Again. Nice! You're learning super quickly. These are really good. If everyone else saw these cool cucumbers, maybe they become cool as cucumbers and stop fighting to admire them. <laughs> Why do I kind of want to do a video where I try to make cucumber flowers now? <laughs> and uh, thank you, Rose Graham. Do you think Kyoko's role model is Ryan Gosling? Because he's in the, he's Ken in the Barbie movie. <laughs> That's all I really know about Ryan Gosling right now. That movie does look good. Thank you for uh, being a member though. Appreciate you. And thank you to Raven Bat Orgel, the meme where the dude, oh, from Community, I love that show. The dude with the pizza comes in, but there is fire and fighting going on. And imagine David there, Weeby. <laughs> basically, that's basically what happened, honestly. That's funny. Wow, Veronica, are you arguing with Ace now? That's the opposite of what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I feel like we just made all of them worse. Is this really what's become of our class? You know, 
I'm getting pretty sick of you, too! You seem to really enjoy creeping people out for fun, which is a wild thing to do during a killing game! Veronica is a little creepy. You've demonstrated a sudden sense of self-awareness and understanding of others today. Why are you still so argumentative? You two, please stop that! What are you doing and talking <laughs> about? Oh, great! Another person to walk into my conversation demanding that it be about them! <laughs> Fucking ace, dude. Can you shut up for five seconds? I'm so sick and tired of you already. Oh wait, Bree. Uh, more slow mode. I can, uh, yeah, I can set it. Let me, I think it's, that's been a while since I've done it. I'll do 30 seconds, maybe? Chat has been moving pretty fast this stream. Ms. Rosales, please understand that I only want to help you. I'm not just talking about you. I'm talking about everyone else here. Everyone, shut the hell up. You're all so damn noisy! Maybe you should take a page out of your own book, dipshit! And shut your mouth first! Ever heard of leading by example? Oh, oh Ace. I'm going to take that from you, Mr. Swears and Screams a lot. <laughs> he truly is the worst boy. I love Ace, though. He's, you know, that's what I respect about him. <laughs> oh, as if I'm going to take that from you, Mr. Swears and Screams a lot. It's enough! <laughs> Tell them, David. Everyone, Pop I have an off. important announcement to make. I need you all to pay attention. Please, stop arguing. Whoa! Yet another person to chime in with something useless! He never... <laughs> he never shuts up. Oh. Is that I have a family history of depression. Oh, whoa. Aw, David. How interesting. My, coming right out with it. Huh. Listen to me. The reason you're... The reason you're all fighting, it's because you're stressed from this killing game, right? Oh, thank you, Akira. Welcome to the Kinjo Cult. More specifically, stressed over this motive. The fear of having some secrets of yours revealed to the entire public has put everyone in a tense mood. Honestly, yeah, I feel like the best idea is just to go ahead and tell. Well, it's like, you say that, like, oh, go ahead and tell everybody, release the tension, but then what if something really bad gets revealed and then somebody kills because something really bad got revealed? Poor David, though. Everything will work out in the end. That's why we should share our secrets. If everything is out in the open, then there won't be any reason to commit murder. Imagine it as a confession of sorts. You'd be surprised how much weight comes off your shoulders once you admit your, what your secret is. So? Do you really think that will reduce conflict if we share each other's secrets? I could see somebody lying about their secret. That's not quite what I meant. If we share the motive that we receive from Mono TV, those secrets that belong to others, that will only invite animosity. We've already seen as much with Jay's situation. No shit. Shit, that's obvious. If you share someone else's secret when they don't want it out, of course they'll hate you. That's why I'm saying we should voluntarily confess what we know to be our own secrets. Hum. It's I guess it's easy. just kind of like what you think your secret is. Of course, that's not as easy as I say it is, so I won't pressure you to. I can't force anyone to reveal their own secret ahead of time, but I will fully support those who take the leap of faith and do. Um, I kind of get the sentiment behind what you're saying. But even though you want to prevent murders just as much as I do, this seems risky. It might cause more stress. Yeah. It's kind of my, I don't know. I like, I see the logic behind it, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not so sure. Thank you, Jeff, everywhere, David. I have an announcement. Sonic is a, <laughs> oh my God. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the donation, Jeff. And the uh, words of wisdom. <laughs> Hiding secrets from others will only bring distrust. If we have nothing to hide, then we have nothing to fear. Think about it carefully, and I hope you all will follow my footsteps and confess your secrets as well. It's the best way to fight against this motive. He sat back down. Hum, it's an interesting idea, certainly. Well... Confessing our own secret is much easier said than done, isn't it? Even if it would ease tensions a bit. What's stopping you then if you know that it's for a good cause? Is it fear? Embarrassment? Shame? Don't worry. No matter how bad your secret is, I'll accept you. I can't promise that everyone else will too, but I'll do my best to change their minds. Oh, look at you, David, being so nice. The thing is... It's not that I can't reveal my motive secret because I don't like it. 
but because I don't know what it is. Every single person technically has secrets, right? I can rattle off a few of mine right now. I like, ah, okay, bye, King. Nice. Slay wit. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I didn't say serve wit. Slay int. I just didn't say the last part, guys. That was it. I didn't say the word. I didn't say it. <laughs> Sonic is a bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> what is that? A Wait, didn't. Didn't Monokuma have beef with Sonic at some point? Remember that being a thing? And honestly, I low-key kind of thought Jeff was calling Sonic bi. <laughs> and that first, I was like, it's calling him a bitch or bi. <laughs> we don't know yet. We don't know. We don't know. Thank you, General Fox. Hi, Weeby. Been watching all the fan games recently. They're helping me a lot during final season. I have to catch up with this one, so CN VODs. Aw, oh, that's awesome. Thank you for stopping by. I'm glad it's been uh, probably helping, helping you de-stress during finals. I know finals can be... Pretty stressful, man. Do not miss those days. I like both girls and guys. I cheated on my 10th grade final math and history exams, also based. If something costs less than $3, and I'll probably take it without paying. <laughs> those are all secrets, but none of them feel important or bad enough to qualify as a motive to murder. You catch my drift? I was being by kind of a secret, Wit. Don't be, don't be ashamed, Wit. We love you. We stand a by king. All those are secrets, but none of them feel like they fit the motive. For those of us that have relatively uneventful lives, it's not immediately clear what this super horrible motive secret will be. Well, that's true, but in that case, you'd be willing to share your own secret only if you knew what it was, correct? I was like, just like trade it with everybody, then maybe it would be okay? Whoever received your secret might have been keeping it to themselves out of respect for your privacy. But if you are willing, then I'm sure they'll share it for you. <sighs> All right, but seriously, I've lived a totally uneventful life. Don't expect it to be interesting. Well, up here goes. Whoever's got my secret, I give you full permission to spill. I feel like um, there was another like death game kind of thing I was watching where like it had like a secrets thing. I feel like um, everybody's secrets were like mundane except for like one person. It was like chill, you know, wets the bed, like stole some candy. Then it was like murdered his entire family. <laughs> It was something like that. I can't remember exactly. I could see it being something like that, though, where it's like everybody has like really mundane secrets, except for like one person. <laughs> Just one person. Huh. I don't have it. Me neither. You know full well that I don't. That's whack. Darn. <laughs> That's whack. Guess no one here has it, but hey, that offer is still open at any time. <laughs> I like this part, too. I'll follow suit as well. For the sake of reducing tensions in the group, I allow whoever's received my secret to share it openly. Much like Wit, I too have lived a fairly un uneventful life. Uh, we kind of have that in common, don't you think, Wit? <laughs> wink, wink. My secret is either uninteresting or has to do with my newfound phobia of blood, which at this point is no longer a secret to any of you. Hey, I got your secret. You sure about this? It's pretty embarrassing. Yes, go ahead. Do you guys see how I asked for permission before sharing secrets all willy-nilly? But um, here goes. It struck me as kind of weird, but maybe you understand it better than I do. Oh god, I kind of feel like it's going to be bad. Your older brother died, but you don't remember him at all. <laughs> oh no! Oh no. Oh no. That's where his phobia of blood came from! Oh shit, that's so bad, dude. This is not gonna encourage everybody else to want to share secrets. Oh cool, just got re-traumatized! What? Excuse me. Wow. Oh wow, Whoa. that's a weird reaction. Look, it's not my fault, okay? He's the one who asked. Oh, that's so bad! That's so fucked up! It's so fucked up. I wonder if he's gonna remember Don't now. Worry. None of us are blaming you. You did the right thing. Maybe it would be better How to share that private. How interesting. That secret surprised Charles most of all. He doesn't remember his deceased older brother. I How tragic. I don't understand what that means, but Charles seems quite shaken. Is it's he okay? okay? He'll be fine, <laughs> I think. He just needs time to process this. I'll go talk to him. Don't worry, okay? His boyfriend's got it under control. Oops, Oops forgot my breakfast. Gotta have my bagel. That's new. 
Oops. What a waste of time. It's not easy. Again, you may have your reservations about my proposal to share secrets. That's why I don't want to force anyone. <laughs> It's like trying to advertise it to everybody else. Like, look at how happy Charles was now that he revealed his secret, too. And Charles just, like, shaking, like... <laughs> See, guys? This is a great... This is a great idea, right? Right? Come to your own conclusions as to what the right thing to do is. I have to say. However, I do think that y'all should at the very least talk privately to the person whose secret you received and tell them what their secret is. I feel like that's a better idea. Because I feel like... I feel like it might have been a little less traumatizing to hear it in private, but I don't know. Leave it up to them whether or not they want that information public. Everyone has a right to know what their secret is and who carries it. I guess. I guess that seems manageable. Maybe. I know that not everyone here is right now. Not everyone is here right now, but I'll tell the others about this so that we're all in the know. Amazing! Julia, let's do something together! What's wrong with you? Piss off! Talk to the person whose secret I received. Oh yeah, Rose. We haven't really seen much of her either. I feel like she's just like always napping, honestly. I guess I've been avoiding her long enough. I'll make sure to tell her by the end of the day. Why would you avoid Rose? She's so sweet. Kind of out of it, but you know. That's a part of her charm. Terrico! Are you done eating, Terrico? Come with me! I want to do our activity now. Of course. Ah, do I have to? Yeah, yeah, you tell everyone about my cactus secret if I don't. Blah, blah, blah. Is that my motive? That I played with plants once? <laughs> um, I really doubt that, unless you do it often. And also, you think it's so bad that you consider killing over. I don't. I didn't get your motive secret, so I don't know for sure. Whose motive secret did you get? Hey! I can't tell you that if it's not yours! I haven't talked to my person yet! If he doesn't give me the go-ahead to share it, then it's definitely none of your business! Okay, so she got a mail, it seems like. I'm trying to think, too, if we can kind of narrow down who Charles got now. I feel like I'll have to, like, write it on a sheet of paper, honestly, because we have, um... It couldn't have been David's, because he revealed his... Obviously, it's not Charles, because he revealed his, and it, he wouldn't have gotten his own note. And then Jay, and then Rose, um, and then a secret and mystery guy <laughs> that we don't know yet. I'm trying to think, huh? That's definitely not your business. I see. Now that you say he, I know it's a man. How did I forget that? Anyways, moving on. I bet you've been wondering about this, what this thing I have planned is, right? Aren't you curious? Guess what it is? Guess, guess, guess! She's so cute. Uh, <laughs> I love that sprite. <laughs> She's so judgy. <laughs> did, you get, did you guess clock making? You would be oh, right. Man. We're not doing real clock making, don't worry. That sort of thing takes a lot of skill. It's not exactly what I'd call a fun and stress-free activity for amateurs. <laughs> She's so cute. Besides, making clocks requires a lot of specialized tools that we don't have, so it's impossible for now. Paper clocks? Maybe. What I have in mind is more of an arts and craft project for kids. This building has a bunch of clocks in various rooms, right? Like this one. And they're also plain. Totally not fun to look at. These are dollar store clocks that just keep time. Monty was like, hey, I told you we had a low budget. Uh... Stop judging me! Isn't that the point of clocks? To keep time. Is the point of art to just be paint on a canvas? No, silly! Besides, these clocks aren't even all that good at timekeeping. I bet they're off by 0.15% like most cheap ones are. A well-crafted, artisanal clock is meant to be something beautiful. Something to enhance the atmosphere. Something you can keep it's as fun. a family heirloom. It's kind of interesting that she's like a clockmaker. But she's not wearing any clocks from what we can see. I guess she has gloves on, so maybe she has one underneath there. But when I think of, like, really expensive, like, I don't know, handcrafted clocks, I think of, like, you know, like a, a watch or something. So you'd think that she'd be wearing, like, a watch, but no. Nope. Just kind of a weird thing I wanted to point out. It's fun. That's why I'll be decorating the clock here. You can draw on the face, make the numbers look fancy, replace the hands, or carve into the rim. Okay, that'd be fun. Trust me, it'll be really fun. It'll feel like elementary school art class all, all over again. <laughs> I feel like Taruko's gonna make like an emo clock. Come on, there's no time to waste. 
You're awfully giddy. But I suppose you're an ultimate after all. Getting carried away while passionately talking about your talent is part of the package. Yeah, like for real, I would imagine her with a Rolex. Not even kidding. <laughs> so, where are you taking me? There's someone we need to meet first. Oh, a pocket watch? Maybe she has a pocket watch. I can see that. Okay, well, uh, how long have I been going for? Like, uh, two? Oh, wow. My guys, it's already been three hours. Okay, I think this is probably a good time to stop because I got to eat dinner. This has been fun, though. I do want to say, too, I think I am just going to kind of change my streaming schedule to, like, Thursday evenings and then um, Saturday at, like, 1 or 2. Probably, like, Saturday, I guess, like, afternoon early afternoon just because uh it's been a little rough doing like streams back to back on weekends i'm just like i'm so tired when i hang out with friends and stuff on the weekends now like anytime i have like a social gathering afterwards <laughs> i'm just like in the corner like <laughs> I'm so tired from the back to back stream so i figured yeah i was like i might just do like one weekday stream and then one um weekend stream to kind of like uh you know make it uh spread out more evenly but um I know the cliffhangers. I was like, it's gonna be a cliffhanger no matter what. Oh my god, Nico looks so cute in this thumbnail. <laughs> I love the cat eyes. Those are so adorable. <laughs> but um, yeah, thanks guys for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you and um, I appreciate all the well wishes you guys have been sending me stuff, the good vibes and things. I'm feeling a lot better because uh, I've been a little down recently, but uh, I feel a lot better after the past week. So I'm like, I'm, I'm excited to start streaming again and posting again and stuff. So uh, feel rejuvenated. Hope you guys are doing uh, good too. And God, this fan again is so good. Of course, it's going to like get my, uh, give me all positive. Like I just enjoy it so much. It's been a really fun time. Oh yeah. And thank you, Brie. Gifted one membership. Appreciate you. And congratulations. You ever got the membership and anybody else who got gifted a membership. Um, you should be able to hook it up. So, like, there should be instructions in the community tab on how to do it. But, yeah, if you don't know how to do it, just, like, message me or one of the mods on, like, Twitter or something. We can uh, tell you how or send you an invite. But, yeah, uh, thanks, guys, for stopping by. Appreciate you. And I will see you on Saturday for blowback.